talking that trash all week It's time to put up a show And when the lights come on You can't hide me About to see what you made of But when the contact comes Don't you dare tuck and run the other way And when the whistle blows You're gonna hear the whole crowd say Show me what you got Number 73, Mike, it looks like, Kamari Rowe. And number 60, uh, Roderick Clay. Number 58, I believe, Gra Hilton Graham. And number and 28, Kimon Smith. Absolutely. And again, Mike, appreciate the roster that you have brought and that Coach Burleson gave us last week. Yeah, I was going to catch the Bleckley County. I see uh, number three, uh, Nakeem Farrow, the running back. Looks like number 26, I believe. I have to look. Yeah, that is Adam Turner, a senior defensive uh, lineman. And uh, let me see if I can put some glasses on the rest of them here. And number again. Number 51. Yeah, 51. That is. Who have we got here? 51. Let's see if we can find him on there. Uh, looks like Will Collins. Okay, he's another senior. Which a tackle. And then the last one is number 20 or number 30. Okay, number 30. They're blocking our view, Mike. I believe 34. Let's check it out and see. 34 on there, Mike, would be, I believe I just saw him. Over here, yeah, Willie Harris. Willie a Harris, defensive tackle. Defense. You see the size of this Blackley County team. Too. It is. It's going to be It's going to be a huge challenge for us, first of all, on the offensive side to protect Noah's quarterback tonight and on the defensive side for us to get a pass rush on them. So hopefully we'll be able to see, hold our own, and, hey, see what we can do. Uh, Mike, I know we're getting close. Looks like uh, Bleckley uh, won the toss, Tim, and elected to receive. So I guess they're wanting to put their uh, offense on the field first here at home. Projected offense. Uh, let's go ahead and say projected defense for the Trojans tonight yeah, since yeah. we're kicking off. Looks like at cornerback will be Kemon Smith, number 28. Trey Best, corner, number 16. Fred Jones, free safety, number 17. Jerry O'Cone, number seven, the uh, strong safety. Uh, number three, Trey Blankenship, linebacker. Number 11, Cameo Blankenship, linebacker. And Mikey Lane, number five, linebacker. Our defensive line, defensive ends, Christian Gibbons and Ernest McNeil. Number 31 is Christian. Number four is Ernest. And number four, Patrick Tooks and Kamari Rowe on the defensive tackle on a rotation to be number 67, Hayward Eady. And, Mike, we're getting ready to get cranked up here tonight. And I believe kicking off with the Trojans would probably be number six, McCray Ball. Is that yep. correct? McCray will be ready to tee it up back deep for uh, Bleckley County. Uh, one of the returners is uh, number three. That is uh, Nakeem Farrow. And the other young man is uh, number two. And that is uh, Arkenzio Hayes. So. And, man, you got some folks coming in here from Telfair. They're just arriving. And, you can see both teams are very excited about this ball game. All right, now our Telfair County Recreation Department kickoff. Kick is to number four. And he is brought down very quickly by the Trojan special teams inside the 30, about the 29 yard line. So it'll be first down for Cochran, or Bleckley County, excuse me, on that 29 yard line. Yeah, uh, great job there by uh, by the Trojans, you know, they executed these short kicks the last week extremely well, Tim. Uh, not necessarily trying to boom the ball, just placing it. And uh, Exactly, Mike. And, again, they did a great job of coverage. Okay. Great job of coverage. All right, first down. Looks like uh, Bleckley's in a shotgun formation, one running back. Handoff over the right side. Looks like there was a pickup probably up to about the 36-yard line. Mike, probably pick up of about seven. Yeah, trying to go off the right side. Blanket, cameo Blankenship in on the tackle. 
Brings up a second down, probably a long three for Blackley. And Tim, we really are loading the box already, pretty much in a 4-4 four -four here. Eight, exactly. Eight in the box. Hand off, oh, and he's brought, uh -oh, almost brought down. He gets away from him. Number two had him, now number 17 leads the tacklers for the Trojans. And Mike, that number 17, I believe. Hold on, I, my I believe, that's okay. Number 17, I believe that was Fred Jones on yep. the tackle. Great job. Tell you what, that running back was really trying to get away. All that running looks like he may have lost a half a yard. My bad, Tim. There's no, our, no there's problem. Our we got our lineups. Trojan We're good. Roster. All right, it's third down for Blackley County Royals. The Trojan fans urging that defense to hold them here on the first series. Number seven back to pass, right over the middle, incomplete. Broken up by a host of Trojans, led by number 11 and number 20 for the Trojans, yeah. Mike. Yeah, Quayshawn Patterson, nice job in coverage there. And Cameo Blankenship, I think, had it backed up. Going to bring up a fourth down and a probable punting situation. Going back deep for the Trojans, it looks like it's number 17, Mike. And that is Fred Jones again. And Fred came up with a big play on that second down. Let's see if the Trojans can get this thing started. Yeah, great. Great defensive stand there by the Trojans, Tim. Just the way you want this game to get underway. Absolutely. Not much of a rush on the punter. Kind of angles it. It's going to be taken by Fred on the 30. He's at the 35. He's at the 40, working his way. He's at the 45. He's at the 50. He's at the 45, the 40. No flags and brought down at about the 35-yard line. Big Fred Jones on a great return, Mike. Big time return there, Tim. And again, if I get a little excited, Mike, and you need to hit All that right. play by play, just turn my volume down and take over, buddy. 10 09 here in the, uh, in the first quarter. No score. Trojans with a big stop there. Three and out uh, on Blackley County's first offensive possession. And then a great, uh, let's see, that would have been. That was a good, let's see, Mike, probably about a 10, 20, about, about a 30 yard, maybe? 20, well, he caught it on the 39, I think. Okay. So 11. About 23, 24 yards. Brings up a first down for the Trojans. Noah Harrelson's at the controls. One running back. Is that Trey Best in the backfield, Mike? I can't tell. Let's see. Uh, yes, that's Trey. Kind of a, yeah, now more of a shotgun look. And we'll have time call. Do we have a penalty? Looks like a delay of game called against the Trojans. Yep. Apparently we had a little trouble getting set up. So other than that, Mike, the first four plays of this game have really gone the Trojans' yep. way. And Blackley comes out. They show press coverage here. Uh, single safety look here, unless they uh, unless they change out of that. Yeah, it looks like they'll they're they're uh, man free coverage here. Man in motion for the Trojans. Harrelson back to pass, throws over to the sidelines just a little bit high. Number 28 was the intended receiver for the Trojans. That was uh, Kemon Smith. Kemon Smith just out of his reach. You know, Mike, on that play, though, it looked like uh, Noah had good protection. Yeah, they did get some pressure in late. I didn't catch who the defender was that came maybe on a, on a, on a late uh, uh, rush or whatever, but uh, got, got a little bit. Uh, yeah, I think the coaches may up. have. I think the coaches may have been wanting possibly a roughing or a late hit. Possibly there was a little, a little people upset on the sidelines, but not nothing bad. Just you know, our opinion on that one. Yeah, and this is what we, we talked about would be the challenge for the Trojans tonight. A little bit different. Noah had a lot of time to sit back and just kind of right. work against the zone of Wheeler tonight. Looks like you're going to get some press coverage. He's back to pass again. He's looking long, Mike. And just overthrows number 16, Trey Best. I'm going to tell you one thing that Noah has looked impressive uh, in the pregame warm-ups in last week is his arm strength. It looks like he's got more zip on the ball than, than he has. Obviously, he's grown, but he's been working out the whole time, and he really looks confident back there in the pocket. Yeah, good arm there. Uh, yeah, uh, defended that time by Sean Jenkins, the sophomore corner for Blackley County. And this is going to bring up a third and 15 from, it looks like, I know the scoreboard says the 48, but I believe we're on the 43-yard line. And again, cover one. Empty backfield. Snap to Noah. Looks like it's a quarterback draw, a design play. 
Picked up about four or five yards on that. And Mike, this is decision time. It's probably about yeah. a fourth and 10, fourth and 11. Do we punt or do we try it deep here in their territory? It looks like the punting team may be coming out, Mike. Yeah, a nice play that time by the inside linebacker for Blakely County, Zach Stanley coming up, tripping him up. And I believe number six, McCray Ball is the freshman kicker, gonna come in to try to pin him deep back in Royal territory. Yeah, back for the Royals, it looks like it'll be number 11. And that is Marcus Brown. Brown, a six foot, 160 pound junior. And let's see, there's a snap from center. McCray, good snap, nice kick. And he fumbles it down, but the guy, the number 11, picks it up. And boy, he took a hit yeah. by that Trojan defense, Mike. Was that number 20 on the hit? 21, I believe, Cody okay. Wilcox. Great, great hit. A little like the guy, the, the guy receiving it recovered the ball and was gonna to try to hit the corner, but he was stopped. I believe, Tim, number five, Michael Lane, might have been down, down there in the middle of that as well. A great job on the special teams now, Mike, to start this ball game. And again, let's see if the defense can make another stop. For those of y'all just joining us, we're in the first quarter, eight minutes, 45 seconds left here in the first quarter. Trojans and Royals, no score. And they're backed up on probably their six yard line. Yeah. Passing to the flats to number four, Oh, a saving tackle yeah. by the Trojans, number 16, Trey, Trey Best. Best. Yeah. Great. If he had gotten away from Trey, Mike, I believe he'd have been off to the races. Yeah, just a little quick five-yard out route basically on that. And you got to really watch this uh, Bryce Bailey. Uh, he's a speedster. they got a couple of really fast wide receivers. Hand off of the middle. Again on a quick count. Fumble. It looks like the ball. Nope. Thought the ball was loose. Maybe I was just hoping, Mike. Yeah, it initially it looked like he might have uh, had a little trouble with it there, but he held on to it. It looks like that they have now gone to a no huddle offense. Yeah, that was just basic inside zone play out of the out of the pistol formation that time. First and ten, pass over the middle. Oh. Almost intercepted by the Trojans, intended for number 11 of Cochran, Marcus Brown. Yeah, and double coverage there. Lassiter trying to fit that throw in between the two defenders. Mike, again, it looks like uh, Bleckley's trying to increase the pace, not giving us a lot of time to substitute with this no huddle. Yeah, Lassiter, Tim, if you noticed on that, he, he faked a little quick hitch yep. and then threw back over the middle. But a good job. The throw was a little bit behind him, but good defense nonetheless for and, the Trojans. And that ball was hanging in the air. Again, another handoff to number three. And again, Trey Best comes from around the corner, but number seven for the Trojans. Jerry Cone. Great and, job. And Tim, this is a guy I kept highlighting last week. He's, he lines up at strong safety, but he's, one, he's, the, he's the safety that comes down in the box to get that extra man. And that time the Trojans were cover zero, Tim, which, right. means, which means no free safety help. It was man across the board. I tell you, they did a great job. It's a third down and six on their own 36 for the Royals. Trojan D, it looked like there was some movement. We'll have to catch. I'm thinking it's on the Royals is the way it looked, and then we reacted. Yeah, their yep. left tackle number 50, 50 there. Is it number 50, Mike? Yeah. yeah, I think it's 50. It is. These numbers are hard to, they have that kind of graphic that's kind of tough. And I've got my new glasses. I'm have the, I can <laughs> read the Trojan ones good, guys. So we got a third and six now. That could be a big penalty here. Exactly. Now that's going to bring it back, Mike, I think. Yeah. Third, six, third. And, yeah, it sure is. It went back because it was a close one on third. Let's see if we can hold them here. Draw. draw play up the middle to number three. He does break a couple of tackles. Uh-oh. He is off to the races. Number 16, Trey Bess is doing his best, and he got him. Brought him down after a huge game. Down to number, looks like, down to about the 12-yard line, Mike. So that would have been a 49-yard run. So. A nice run. He just got through that first, first wave on yeah. that draw play, Well, Mike. give Blakely credit there. That we were, It was third and long. They catch us and uh, run a little draw and just caught us off guard. But the only guy that could have run him down, Trey Bass. And boy, he, showed, he put on the uh, afterburners on that one. Great hustle. 
Handoff number 36 brought down at the line of scrimmage. Looks like by number 73, Mike, for the Trojans. Yeah, good. Is good. that Kamari? Yeah, yeah, that's that's Kamari. Run my bad, Tim. No, man, we're fine. We're fine. We're just, me and Mike have a bunch of papers here. If you're just joining us, six minutes, 45 seconds left in the first quarter. No score. The Royals are threatening. Yeah, we, we did a good job there. They pulled the uh, the backside guard on that, but we did a good job of uh, stuffing that one. Second down and 10. Little option pitch to number two. Ooh, brought down hard. Number seven and number nine for the Trojans. That's Jerry O'Cone, Mike. Jerry O'Cone. And I thought and it said number nine. I might have. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, it is. Tackled by number seven, Jerry O'Cone. Let's see if we can hear. And I think number nine is the unknown Trojan here, it looks like. Yeah, we'll have to catch. Trojans desperately trying to hang on on a third down and eight, trying to keep them out of the end zone. And I'm wondering, Tim, if Patrick Toots is actually wearing nine instead of eight. I'm thinking that may be it, Mike. All right, pass. Looks like we got a little pressure on him. He bobbled it. I don't know. Yep, they're counting it as a reception, Mike. That's going to be a close to a first down. Yeah, that's number 11, Marcus Brown again. That has been the go-to receiver exactly. uh, for Lassiter here early in the game. Okay, Mike, it brings up a fourth and one. Real quick, want to thank some of our sponsors, Telfair County Chamber of Commerce, Merchants and Citizens Bank, and Deep and Deeper Cleaning. Big, big play here, Tim. It is, Mike. It looks like Bleckley... They're all going over towards the coach, I believe. Have they called? Yeah, they've called the timeout, I believe. So why don't we run down yeah, the rest Yeah, Mike, of go them ahead here. if you would. Also, Bank of Lumber City and Telfair County Bank, and we want to thank them for sponsoring our pregame show. All right. CL Defense, Telfair County Recreation Department, timeout. and the Telfair yeah. County Middle School. And but, you know, Mike, the advantage of playing a team in a, in a higher region it gives you a good experience against a good opponent. And if you win, power rankings. Power points. rankings are big on that. So I think that this is great. And again, hey, the Trojans are definitely up with the task here. Hey, watch out. Now, we haven't seen much of him yet, but watch out for the big 6'5 receiver. I don't think he's in there, but number they're tied in, number 84. Yes. Mike, he, how tall is he? Doesn't list him. List him as a freshman, but keep an eye here. They could. They could be going to him down here in the red zone. Fourth and one, handoff to number three. He is met close, but that's, it could be. He definitely has the first. Touchdown. He does. Kamari, he did make it in. Kamari Rowe made a diving attempt to try to slow him down. Well, but, Mike, uh, one of the things just to look at, you take away the one big play. Again, the defense has done very well. I mean, I know yeah. that this, you hate to give up a score this early. Five minutes, 41 seconds in the first quarter. Uh, Trojans down six to nothing, extra point pending. But, um, you know, in a minute, Mike, I like your thoughts on, on how the defense has played up to this point. Let's see this extra point here. Number nine for Bleckley County is getting ready to attempt it. Okay. There's a snap, hold, and kick is up. And it is good. So with 541 left, Mike. Uh, the score, Bleckley County 7, your Telfair Trojans getting ready to get on offense. Yeah, that's uh, – If that, if I'm reading that right, Mike, is that number 20 or is that number 26 there? That's us uh, There's 22 and – It's actually 28, Kemon uh, Smith. Kemon Smith, and okay. And 20 – and 20 – it is 22 on the other side. All right. Trojan fans all excited know that, again, the Trojans getting ready to get back in this thing. Waiting on the kickoff, and here we go. Kick is very, very deep. It goes out of the end zone. Wow. And again, Mike, I saw in the pregame warm-ups, I was at the concession stand, and like they got hit by the ball by the, uh, the Royals kicking. They got a good game. Yeah, number 82, Carson Waters, a junior kicker for Blackley County, got a, got a strong leg there. Nice kick on that, very nice kick. Again, thank our sponsors, Telfair County Chamber of Commerce, Merchants and Citizens Bank, Deep and Deeper Cleaning, Bank of Lumber City and Telfair County Bank, CL Defense, Telfair County Recreation Department, and Telfair County Middle School. And Michael, I want to do also send a shout out to the Bleckley County Principal, Mr. Gibbs, and the superintendent. Um, I believe that uh, Mr. Gibbs had called the superintendent, got his permission to come out here. Very grateful again that we're able to cover it here with Deep Productions and, of course, Ted and Tommy on the radio yeah. side. 
So it's uh, nice for the people in Telfair that could make it. But, boy, I believe Telfair may be a little empty tonight. There's a lot of folks out here. Yeah, again, Royals showing uh, press coverage. Look here. Hand off to Trey Best. Tries to hit the corner, and he does. Oh, nice. Lowered the shoulder. Mike, I believe he got a nice pickup of about eight or nine yards yeah, on that Yeah, about one. eight on the play. Nice play. Trojans. Just coming outside there on that outside zone. Number 17, Fred Jones coming out limping. I don't think it's anything serious. I think he just probably caught a cramp or whatever. It looks like he's kind of limping towards the sideline. We'll, you know, keep you posted on that. And, Tim, one of the things we talked about with Trey last week, it's obvious he, he's really been in the weight room in the offseason, adding to that speed some power. Absolutely. And he put that shoulder. Again, they feed it to Trey one more time, and he's still on his feet. He got flipped and stayed on his feet. A tremendous effort gets him over the 30-yard yeah, line. Yeah, he's going to have the first down. And, Mike, you're right. He is just playing with a passion. Yeah, number 20 for Blackley County, John Newman, the strong safety, came up, thought even he had him down, but no doing. Trey yeah. would not go down without a fight. And, you know, the thing with Trey watching him, Mike, on that one, not only is his strength, but his flexibility and balance. Yeah, 454 to go, for, actually 448 to go. First quarter, Royals leading Telfair 7-0 here at Royal Stadium. Trojans with the ball. And again, Noah Harrelson is quarterback number 21 was in motion and he gets the ball. Looks like he's going to be bottled up at the uh, line of scrimmage. I believe that was Kobe Wilcox. Yeah, yeah, Wilcox on the carry. Just not much there that time. And again, Mike, they had him in motion. Again, a single safety look, Tim. I I thought it was cover three, but it, either way, whether it was cover three or, or man, they were they were loading the box. So, Mike, it looks like we've got a couple of receivers here on the right-hand side, number 21 for the Trojans. Uh, Kobe and number two, I believe it is, Brent Smith, Jr. Yep. Okay. And again, of course, we have, um, looks like Trey still in the backfield with Noah. Yeah, this, look. this, the. They're giving him a pass. Look, let's see, yep. And Noah he completes it to number two for the Trojans. Brent Smith with a nice kick. Looks like he got up to about the 38-yard line. So that's going to bring up a third and what about maybe three, Mike? Yeah, yeah. Nice throw, Tim, by, by Noah. I like to set his feet. Uh, receiver did a good job. S little curl sat down in the middle of the defense and I'll uh, find that open hole and he did a great job of surveying the field no it is uh, we may have pressure watch this side there's 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 not going to be anybody to pick them up they would have a free rusher here looks like they're all they're, in at the line Mike. now they're going to drop back looks like and again a nice nice push this is going to be close Trey Bess on the carry this is going to be close Mike it's a fourth and one Two minutes, 55 seconds left. Trojans down seven to nothing. Do you try it here? You're down, you know, seven. It's a fourth and one. Or do you just try to draw them off side? I draw them off. Yeah, that was a nice play by the linebacker for Blackley County there, Zach Stanley. Trojan fans on their feet, excited about it. Let's see if they're going to go for it Watch here. Watch for a quarterback draw to the weak side here. That was the, the, the play that we ran so often last year with Ian. Now it looks like we are going to call the timeout and talk this over. So with two minutes, 24 seconds left, the Trojans fourth down and less than a yard. But, Mike, we got a fourth and one here. It looks like we are going to go ahead and punt at yeah. this point. And, and, and probably a good decision here. I mean, if you, if you don't pick it up with the way this Blackley offense just seemed to start to maybe start to click, uh, but Blackley's going to play it straight up. Exactly. In fact, they have nobody deep, Mike. So, again, it may be that they are thinking we're going to try a little something, but here comes a little pressure. McCray ball gets it off. Let's see if it'll take. Yeah, it takes a little bit of a Trojan roll and goes to about the 34-yard line. So a, uh, what, 26-yard punt, no return? 26-yard punt. All right, Trojans in basically a 4-4 there. This is a cover three look here. Hand off to number three, and he got tripped up. I believe the turf monster may have gotten him on that one. Yeah, mark. I guess you would technically give the tackle credit to Hayward Eady because right. he was the closest, but, yeah, the turf kind of got him there. 
And again, ever since that first series, Blakely has been back in that no huddle. Yeah, and, and Tim, they, they're running a lot of this uh, out of the pistol. The thing with yeah. the pistol, even though you're, you have the benefit of the gun, you can still run that downhill running game, and that's what they're doing. They're pounding uh, the running back between the tackles. There he goes again, number three, and he is brought to the ground by number 11. That's, I believe uh, that's Cameo, Cameo, Cameo Blankenship. Yeah, the middle linebacker, Cameo. Uh, looking for a huge season out of Cameo this year. And again, like I say, first two games have been good. Looks like it's going to bring up a key third down. This is where the Trojans, one of our keys to the game, Mike. Yep, They've got to yep. stop them on a third down. And don't forget what they did to us on the last time on third down. Again, yeah, they have a single setback and uh, running back in the backfield. Third and two. They got that offset fullback, right. H back over to the right side. Hand off the number three, and he does bust a hole in two for a first down. And again, not in Trojan territory. It was a good pickup of about seven or eight. Brings up a first down for Bleckley County on the Bleckley 49-yard line. And Tim, that time they ran right behind uh, number, I believe it was number 40, the big, uh, the big fullback. Uh, Najwan Pitts, and also that big tight end, number 84. Hang on, Patty, we'll talk in a minute. A uh, handoff again, trying to hit the corner, number three. And again, he made a little dip, and he is going to get a first down run out of bounds by number 28 of the Trojans, Kimon Smith. Yeah, he's going to pick up right at 11 on that play. Fourth out of bounds by number 28, Kimon Smith. That'll be good. Okay. okay. We are. 7-0, Blakely County leading it here. We uh, 53 seconds left in the first quarter. The Royals just convert another first down. They're uh, starting to really get their ground game going, Tim. They really are. And, again, this is where the Trojan defense is going to have to just uh, take a step up. And, again, they're feeding it to number three. And he goes around the corner. He has definitely got some acceleration and brought down, again, a touchdown-saving tackle. Is that Cameo. It looks like that was yeah. cameo number but, 11. But, but, Tim, you saw it again. They, they line that uh, that H-back, uh, fullback uh, slash H-back, whatever you want to call it, right behind that big tight end, and they're just running right off tackle off that right side. That's, and that's several times they've done that now. And, Mike, it looks like the Trojans have taken the time out to kind of take a moment to discuss what's going on. Again, if you're just joining us, the score is 7 nothing Royals. They scored on a, I believe it was like a two-yard run, yeah, I believe, Mike. Uh, yeah, we can recap that. Uh, Blakely scored on a two-yard touchdown run by Nakeem, Nakeem Farrow. Uh, extra point was good to make it 7 nothing. So Mike's going to set up that pass. Coming. Right. All right, it's the first down on the Trojan 20, 44 seconds left. Again, looks like they're going to pass for number four. He is brought down. Oh, he did not get brought down. Number seven, we had him down, and boy, he bounced off it, Mike. Yeah, I believe number number four put some great pressure on him, as did, I'm waiting for him to turn around, number, number eight. eight. Yeah, number eight had him. That was, I believe that's two. Yeah. And he had him initially, and then Ernest McNeil should have had him as well, but he Lassiter pulls the Houdini out. And he did get outside the, the stripe, so he was not an intentional ground. And second down and ten. And they were trying to go for the, the home run ball. And again, he tries another pass. Mike, they, they, you, must, they must have, you must have been in their huddle because you said that that run was going to set up the pass, yeah. and that's what they tried on the last two plays. Yeah, it was because because number four on the on the one where he was flushed and had to throw it away, way, uh, basically set up the defender. He he took a little little inside move and then then basically ran what would have been like, I guess a post corner. Right. And uh, is what they were looking for, but it. It was, it was not there, didn't have time. Mike, you would expect a pass here. Let's see what happens. Yep. Quarterback is rolling out to his left. He throws it, and it's incomplete. It's out of bounds. Nice pass rush, Mike. It Was that number three for the Trojans? Yeah, that is uh, Trey Blankenship. Trey. Uh, thank goodness we got two of the three Blankenships still with us. We know Ian, I think, has gone to college. Is yep, that right? Yep. He's quarterback. In fact, uh, I know uh, Ian had his first game last weekend. I believe, and uh, like a great, great uh, fixture here at Telfair for those years as a four-year startup quarterback. All right, Mike, Blackley is not going to, they're going to forego the field goal attempt, try to get it here on the fourth down. Mike, this could be one of these real key moments of the yeah, ball game, yeah. even though it's early in the, in the ball game. Number seven looking to pass. He's going long. 
And he does catch him. He got number seven turned around. And that was number four, Bryce Bailey. That's the speedy little guy we talked about earlier. It was Mike, he had some good coverage on him. It was just a little light that he got turned around and just was not able to get the ball in his line of vision. Again, a tough break for the Trojans. We're down 13 to nothing with 26 seconds left here in the first quarter. As uh, lights are turned on here and it's starting to get a little bit into even time, temperature is starting to drop a little bit. Yeah. Did you catch who was defending on that? It looked like number four for the Trojans. Okay. Which See, that was, would have been McNeil. The, and I may be wrong, but I believe it was number four on that. Number seven made the catch for Cochran, I believe. You're actually, it was number four for Blake. Oh, okay. The then, catch. all right. Then I probably have them backwards then, Mike. Yeah, Bailey, yeah. All right. Then it may have yeah, been and so, so seven. Cone, the safety, yeah. That's what it was. Gotcha. Number nine in to attempt the extra point. Snap, hold, and kick is up. And it's good, and just like that, with 26 seconds left in the first quarter, scores 14 to nothing, Blackley. But Mike, for just a break or two, yeah. this game should could be very well zero to zero. Yeah, but it's, I go back to to what seemed to change all the momentum was the third and six right. in the 49-yard run. And, and uh, then you look at the 20 when you had them on a fourth yeah. and 10. Yeah. You know, that, and they had, I guess, they had to have safety over the top, and unfortunately he got turned around. Yeah. And good ball placement by Lassiter as oh, well. Oh, yeah, it was a great one. Now, Mike Coach Lassiter, the guy that's the quarterback, is he any relation to the Yeah, that to the coach? Von Lassiter is in his second year here. Von Lassiter, of course, the former coach of uh, – Offense coordinator of one Jake Fromm at Houston County. High I got School. you. And Coach Lassiter was from Cochran. So, Ma, as they said with Bear Bryant, Mama called. <laughs> and so, uh, Von Lassiter came back home. So, if you're just joining us, we are in the uh, first, first quarter. quarter, almost the end of the first quarter, 26 seconds left. And Blackley County leads our Telfair Trojans 14 nothing. Got a great crowd on both sides here today, back deep for the Trojans. Again, Mike, it looks like, again, number 20. And I believe we'll 26. See. I believe number 22. 22. All right, this one's going to be returnable. Number 22, J.J. Collins. He's got him some speed, Mike. Yeah, good return, Tim. Uh, was there a flag on the play or not? I hope that that was a mistake on my note. Yeah, there, there is a flag down about the 42-yard line across on the other side. But J.J. Was, Collins did a great job on that. But, Tim, that is where he was tackled, so it could be. No, nope, it is unfortunately against the They Trojans. are going to call it. Was that a hold on the Trojans? That appeared to be the signal here. While we take a moment to look, J.J. Collins, man, they, he showed a burst of speed there, Mike. Yeah. 14 nothing. Blackley County, so block in the back. Right. Too. Blackley County leading Telfair, 14 nothing. 18 seconds left in the first quarter. Again, Thanks to Telfair County Chamber of Commerce, the Merchants and Citizens Bank, Deep and Deeper Cleaning, Bank of Lumber City and Telfair County Bank, CL Defense, Telfair County Recreation Department, and Telfair County Middle School. And, that's Mike, I'm going to tell you, that's such nice support. Yes. And if it wasn't for people like or these uh, businesses, we probably wouldn't be able to bring this to guys, the, the ladies and gentlemen at home that aren't able to come tonight. Exactly. And as always, as we always uh, say, support the businesses that support your Trojans. And hopefully, Mike, by the next home game, we may have a little something that we can put into play that if you tell your sponsors that you heard them on Deep Productions, there may be a chance for you to win a little something. We'll All have right. a little contest next week. Sounds <clears> good. <throat> First down and 10 Trojans, they backed up to their 25 after that 15-yard penalty, but a great return by J.J. Collins. Again, Tim uh, Bleckley showing press coverage here. Noah Halson as the quarterback. Again, going back to pass under pressure. Got that off to Trey Bess. Oh, my gosh. Mike, how was he able to get that off? That defender was in Noah's face. Yeah, yeah, uh, little, a little play fake there to Trey, and then Noah hits him on the swing pass out in the flat. Pickup of about four, five. They said three, I believe. It. Let's give them four. Okay. I'm going to say second and six. <laughs> well, the see. scoreboard, yeah, okay, now it says second, second and seven. Second and seven, all right. And, Tim, right now, those underneath throws, I mean, with the with the tight man coverage here, it is hard. Blakely's really taking away our downfield passing game. Number 17 for the Trojans coming around the end, met by a host 
of yeah. Bleckley County players. Fred Jones, obviously he's fine from that probably a little leg cramp a minute ago. Mike, that's going to take us to the end of the first quarter. The score, Bleckley County 14, your Telfair Trojans 0. You don't just come up here and just start talking. You do tremendous amounts of research, both for the pregame and for the actual game itself. Just a tremendous job that you do to get all the stats and figures. You're not the professor for nothing. <laughs> but we appreciate well, everything appreciate you do, Mike. Hey, we need to run down. Uh, this is an opportunity to run down our picks for the weekend. Oh, yeah. I, I hate to ask. I didn't do too good last week. All right. So I'm going to run down with Caleb first. Caleb went with coffee over Ware, Michigan over Notre Dame, Ole Miss over Texas Tech, West Virginia over Tennessee, Miami over uh, LSU, and Washington over Auburn. And this, of course, is for fun and recreation yes, only. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Jacob went with coffee over where, Michigan over Notre Dame, Ole Miss over uh, Texas Tech. Uh, West Virginia over Tennessee, LSU over Miami, and Auburn over Washington. And uh, I'll give you mine in just uh, just a moment here. Looks like the Trojans are getting ready to come back after that brief timeout. I went with Coffee, Ole Miss, West Virginia, Miami, Washington, and Michigan. Wow. And I can't remember what you, you went with exactly. I went with the only ones that win. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll run yours Yeah, we'll down have to check on. them down. All right, third down and seven for the Trojans on their own 28-yard line, looking to try to get a first down, keep this drive alive. Noah Harrison back to pass. He's looking long. Number seven is open. Oh, oh and just God. off of his fingertips, Mike. Number seven, Jarrell Cohn. Jarrell Cohn just barely off his fingertips. Mike, Noah had good touch on that ball. Uh, that was a beautiful ball, Tim, on the go route. Uh, number six, Sean Jenkins, the corner for Bleckley County, was beat on the play. And, I mean, that was a great effort. And Jerry made a great effort on that just, I think, a little like it hit his fingertips and maybe his knee may have knocked it a little bit, yeah. possibly. Well, Tim, with, with, with Bleckley playing so much man coverage, you're going to have to make some plays. Uh, you know, you're going to have to make some plays on the outside. The good news on that play, though, is there was a penalty against Bleckley. And it was defensive holding, Mike. So that should give the Trojans, it does, a first down on their 39-yard line. So, again, keep the drive alive. And, Mike, you're absolutely right. That pass was there. So we're going first down and 10 Trojans, down 14 to nothing, 11.54 left here in the first half. And this game is just flying by, guys. Toss sweep. Nice block by number two. Yeah, we may have. Uh, a little like he hit him up near the helmet area, Mike. Let's see. But I don't know if that's going to be the Or penalty. it could be a hold on number two for the Trojans because there was a lot of action on that end. Let's see if we can pick it up. It looks like it's going to be against us, Mike. And, Tim, the Trojans don't make any secret what they want to do. They want to, put to in the running game, they want to use this speed and get these guys to the perimeter. Right. And so, again, Mike, you're absolutely right. And, and the thing that, that probably doesn't get brought up enough with these spread with these spread offenses, without a tight end in there, it puts a lot of pressure on your wide receivers. They have to be able to make blocks on those edge to bust the big plays. Exactly, and for those of you watching at home, you can notice that it's the empty backfield. You got two wide receivers on each side. It looks like a third on the, on the uh, far side, Mike. Yeah, again, man-free coverage with a, with a free safety. And again, Noah tried to catch him sleeping, and he did a great job on a nice draw, got him spread out. Got the yardage back on that plus a little bit. And that's a great call there against the man coverage. And so this is going to bring up a second down and probably probably looking about 12 or 13 since we had that uh, penalty a minute ago. Because what that can do, Tim, is is that, that free safety who's normally wanting to play that middle of the field, if you keep doing that, you're going to force them to have to make a decision to maybe spy him. Uh, exactly. And if they do that, that's going to open someone else up, isn't it, Mike? Exactly. Number 17, Trey Bess in motion. Noah has plenty of time. He's scrambling, 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 still looking, still looking, throws. 
And for number 11, it was just a little bit out of reach. And again, number 11, Cameo Blankenship, I believe. And we may have a, uh-oh. I believe, is that Noah? Yeah, number 10, I think he took a heck of a hit. And Noah's down, so. So he'll take just a moment. Mike, again, I'm sure Noah looks like he's, he took a good hit probably. Looks like his legs are moving. He's, but I, I may, could have had the wind knocked out. What do yeah, you think, Mike? looking across there, hopefully that's all it is. We have 10 minutes, 37 seconds to go here in the second quarter. Telfair County is taking on Bleckley County here at Royal Stadium in Cochran. Uh, Bleckley County uh, scoring their two touchdowns on a two-yard Nakeem Farrow touchdown run and a 20-yard touchdown pass uh, by uh, Lassiter. And, guys, and Mike, because I know a lot of folks back home know Noah and want to make sure Noah looks like he's fine, looks yep. like he's getting a little water on the sidelines. He looks like he's in good shape. May have just had the wind knocked out of him. Knowing him, yeah. they're going to probably have to hold him down to keep him from going back in right now. So it looks like we'll go a little bit of a wildcat look here. It'll be uh, Number Trey Seagram. Bess, direct snap. Oh, my gosh, not a nice. Tried to make a nice move and get outside. Unfortunately, wasn't able to do that. Yeah, good job by Blakely County setting the edge that time. Also, uh, props to the defensive back here on the uh, on the backside. I believe that's number one. It right. uh, looks like Noah's coming back in the game, Mike. Right. So yeah, number one, Lane Kitchens. Uh, good good play. Yeah. Okay. We, I was just doing it. I'm not sure what our technical director. The, the, we did something score, wrong. But, uh, oh, I, we have definitely done the score, so, so we're fine. 14, but, 14, nothing, and we will recap. Hold on, in a moment, I'll recap the scoring again. Number ten, Noah Harrelson's at the quarterback position, running back. There, Noah looks good. He's ready to throw, ready to throw. Now he's going to have to scramble, gets around side, and is pushed out of bounds. I believe that's that number one again. And so, again, Trojans held the ball for the first three and a half minutes of this quarter, about nine minutes and a half, two and a half minutes. So nine minutes, 43 seconds left here in the second quarter. 14 nothing Blickley. Now, it looks like it's going to be a fourth down and long, Mike, a punting situation. This is where, to stay in the game, your defense has got to rise. 21 to nothing would not be impossible, but it's a tall yeah, task. Yeah. It's a tall task. Blackley going to put two guys back. They're going to have number four. That is uh, Bryce Bailey again, the young man that caught the 20-yard touchdown pass. And also number 11, Marcus Brown. So two safeties deep on this punt. A little pressure on it. McCray ball. Pretty nice. good kick, though. I'm going to say it, it definitely hung up in the air for a minute. And it goes into Blackley territory to about the 46 and a half, you think, Mike? Yeah, uh, give him uh, – Give him 29, 28 on that punt, no return, and a good hang time. It was a great hang great, time great on hang that. Great hang time on that one. And, again, the distance was good. He's averaging close to 30 yards per yep, kick. Yep. And as a freshman, I'm going to tell you something, Mike. As a freshman playing against a school like yep. this and everybody coming at you, he's doing a great job yep. kicking that ball. Yep, and it's handled. And let's uh, tough, Tim, too, double duty punting and play skating. Exactly. And kicking off. So. Exactly. So 14 nothing, Bleckley leading it, 9.33 to go second quarter. They take over at their own 47 here. So the four-man front hand off the number three. 21 for the Trojans in pursuit and does a great job coming across the field. That's Kobe Wilcox. Great job. Yeah, and, and a little bit of a stutter step that time by uh, by this running back, Nakeem Farrow. I'm telling you, Mike, they've been feeding him all the time. I wonder if they're going to go back. They were feeding him on that last drive. He's got to be at least close to, what, about 70, 80 yards I would, rushing, you would think. I would, especially with that long one he did yeah. earlier in the first. All right, Sec it's cover three. Second down five, handoff again. Up the middle to number three, brought down. Again, nice tackle, and again, I want to see number five, Mike. Yep, yep. that is uh, Michael Lane. Great job by Michael. Again, um, it's a five-yard pickup, six-yard pickup. It's going to be a first down for Blickley on the 40-yard line. Yeah, Michael Lane from his uh, weak side linebacker position there. Mike, I was hoping for a quick three and out here. A pass over to number 10. Brought down quickly by number 11, Cameo Blankenship. 
great play by Cameo. That that shows you the sideline, the sideline speed of Cameo. Oh, Mike, I'm Getting I'm over sure. to make that tackle. And, you know, that's one thing I've been impressed with with the Trojans linebackers and the uh, defensive backs, a lot of speed. And it looks like we're going, what, with a three, four-man defensive front? Yeah, look, four, four-man front again. They show a cover three look. Pass out into the flash to number 11, being pursued by Cameo. And again, brought down, I believe, I believe looks like, is that number 18, eight, Yeah, right? I believe that's uh, Ulysses McMillan. And again, like we say, I'm impressed with the speed of Blakely, but our boys are doing a good job trying to pursue. They're just, just a step behind here, but they're doing a good job of pursuit. Well, First down for Blakely here inside the 25-yard line to about the 21 or two. Well, give uh, give Lassiter credit. He he saw that cover three look, hit the pass out in the flat. Again, handoff to number seven, and he's got a little wall in front of him, but it was broken up by the Trojans. Actually, is that number four, Mike? Excuse me, number four, Mike. Yeah, four. You're right. That is uh, that's Bryce Bailey again. Bailey and uh, Farrow. Uh, I tell you, quite a tandem here for Blackley County. Too. Absolutely. I'm going to say the camera work has been real good, Mike. I was just watching this on the screen instead of out, <laughs> out there, and I thought, wow, that was like watching on television. All right, snap, and again, looks like a pass to the end zone. Intended for number four. It's going to be intercepted, I believe. Or did he break it up? It is picked. It's intercepted by the Trojans. And let's see who That's got that. That's number 20. And, Mike, that is a huge break and a great play by Quayshawn Patterson. No, excuse me, 28, no, my bad. Number Kemon Smith. Yeah, the, the zeros and eights look so similar. On, we're going to have to start watching the screen. i got to go get my bifocals here. I tell you what, but, hey, either way, Trojans did a great job, yeah. dodged a bullet, get the ball back here around their 20-yard line, first and 10 if you're just joining us. We've been told by the technical director, and rightfully so, to give that score. And it's 14 yep. to nothing, Blakely, but the Trojans now got a little momentum. Yeah, it looked like Lassiter was, was throwing that ball to a certain spot. Maybe the receiver was breaking in, and Lassiter was intended for him to break out. But still, a tremendous play by Kimon anticipating that and going up making the uh, interception. This was like a bend but don't break defense on that play, Mike. Again, Blakely loading that box up, man coverage again. And oh no, he's throwing it. He's going long for number seven. Oh, oh, there could have been. I don't know. It looked like a, I'm not an official, but that I certainly was mean. some contact there before the ball was there. Who was he? Th he was throwing to. It looked like number seven, Mike. Okay, that was Cone again, Tim. And it was defended by number five for Blackley. That's uh, Ty Williams. Those corner. of you that are watching at home. Not now, but after the game, go back and check the play and let's just see. <laughs> I can't tell on the replay here, guys. 7.28 to go, second quarter. Blackley County leading Telfair 14-0. Trojans 1-0 on the year. Blackley 1-1. One one. This is a non-region matchup here tonight in Cockard on a hot night. Great test for the Trojans. Hand off up the middle. Hand off up the middle. Yeah. Don't believe we got anything on that one, Mike. Yeah. And that was Trey Best on that one. I think the... A lot of penetration by the Blakely yeah, County defensive big, line. Big number 34, Willie Harris, a defensive tackle wearing Herschel's number. Uh, just really blew that play up. Third and 10. Third ball down on the 10. 20. And again, Mike, like we said, what do you call on a play like this, Mike? Do we go back to that quarterback draw, spread them out, or do we go ahead and try to pass this thing? I think you got to try to go downfield here. And again, we've had some a good good success. It's just a question. Uh oh, looks like somebody moved here. Mm. Yep, it's on the Trojans. It looked like a procedure. And you got, but you got to be careful here. You don't want to turn the ball over down here. No, not this deep. And frankly, Mike, it would be good to get, even if we don't get a first down, which I hope we do, just a few yards to let's get a little breathing room away from that end zone area. You know, we've we've had some success on these go routes. We just haven't been able to connect. And, you know, all it's going to take is yeah. one. We dropped drop one and then a, a couple overthrown. Noah set in the backfield in a shotgun formation. He gets the ball, takes a drop. He's looking long, Mike, again, and there, there it is, but nope. And that one just a, just a little bit underthrown. Intended for Fred Jones, number 17. And, again, good coverage that time by Breckley. Uh, or Kenzio Hayes on the coverage that time. So we got a fourth down with six minutes, 41 seconds left. 
Six minutes, 41 seconds left here in the first half. 14 to nothing, Trojans trailing. Defense came up big on the last drive. We're hoping they can hold them again on this one, Mike, and maybe we can get a score in before the half. No doubt about it, got, got to stop them here. Bleckley with a two-yard touchdown run by Nakeem Farrow and a 20-yard touchdown pass from Zach Lassiter to Bryce Bailey. That's how, how they have their 14 points. McCray ball back to kick, snap and a kick. It's a nice end over end kick. It's called by number four at the 30, 40 yard line and he brings it down to about the 35. Yeah, about a, about a nine or 10 yard about return. A nine, nine yard return on that one. Mike coming up at the half. I know we we'll want to go back around the region, kind of and see, we're trying you know, to get playing. some scores as well. And if anybody happens to get any scores and you're commenting, please feel free to send them in and Patty will hopefully get them to us. Also, Mike, at the half, I know we want to talk a little bit about this game continuing, but also might want to do a little college preview. If we're able to hear the band, we want to hear some of them, but yeah. if we're not, maybe uh, I think is there a ball game up in the Athens area I tomorrow? I believe so. I I've believe heard so. rumors of such. <laughs> All right, first down for Bleckley County. Quick pass to number 11. Looks like he's trying to get a little hole there and brought down. I believe Cameo got over there and actually wrestled him down. Did a good job on that. Kept him in bounds. Clocks. That is uh, Marcus Brown. I tell you, they've got the break. Blakely County's got some talented athletes. Oh, they do. They're, they're very good, very quick, Mike, and very strong. And some lightning off in the distance. Inside handoff. Again, just bouncing off. Good job. I tell you, Mike, the Trojans are really on defense. They're doing a good job of, of getting to the ball. It's just, like we say, Blakely's been a little quicker at some spots, yeah. but, but the Trojan defense is holding its own here, and there have been some opportunities for the offense. Yep, All right, great. And we, we just got to wrap up. When we, we're getting to them, we just got to wrap them up. Hand off again to number three on the right-hand side. He was looking for that end zone, but he is brought down. By and number, number four. four, I believe it is, Mike. Yeah, that's the, uh, the defensive end, Ernest McNeil. Good job on that, and I believe, yeah, that's going to make it a first down from about, what, the 11? We'll now, see. They say ball on the 6, but. Okay, and that I, may be. I, we've got a bad angle no, here. No, you're, you're right. Ball is just outside the 10. So so they could get another first down and up close, but let's see if we can hold them again. Number 3 hits that hole just zigging and zagging, and he didn't quite make it. He is down on about the one-yard line, Mike. Yeah. Probably bring up second and in inches. Well, again, Farrow. And it looked, was that a counter? It he, was. He stopped and then, then cut back the other way. He did. He let the pursuit go one direction. And there again, same play. And so, again, Farrow, yeah. Mike, he probably has close to 100 yards tonight in the first. All right, the snap and the kick is up. And it's good. So, the score... 21 to nothing, Trojans down here with 4.57 left. Mike, tremendous crowd for the Trojans and for the Royals tonight. Yeah, yeah. I mean, a really, really good support for the Trojans. Uh, a lot of people have made the win. I mean, this is a hot night. In fact, if you're just joining us, it is 21 nothing, Bleckley County. They scored two touchdowns in the first quarter. They've added a third one here in the second, and it has been uh, – Tough, tough sledding so far. Trojans are playing hard, though. But uh, this Bleckley County team, give them credit. They've done a very good job. And by my the effort has definitely been there for the Trojans. And like we say, with the way they're playing, it's not over. Just um, I imagine at the half, there's definitely going to be some adjustments regards to Faro. Yep. There's a squibbler down taken by, it looks like, is that Collins again? Yeah, Collins on Caught it on about the five. Got about a 20-yard gain. I'm telling you, Mike, he's looking good on the kickoff returns. And that was not an easy kick to get. No. And watching that play then, Mike, Collins just looks so smooth out there. Like, you know, okay, I'm not going to panic. I got the ball. And just kind of read it and got what he could out yeah. of it. Yeah. A good job on that by Collins and the special teams. Again, if you're just joining us, Bleckley County leading 21-0, 450 to go second quarter. Uh, thank our sponsors, Telfair County Chamber of Commerce, the Merchants and Citizens Bank, Deep and Deeper Cleaning, Bank of Lumber City, and Telfair County Bank. 
CL Defense, Telfair County Recreation Department, and Telfair County Middle School. All right, first down for the Trojans. First down and 10 on the 26. Handoff. Oh, nice hole. It closed up very quickly, but nice little hole. That was number 28 for the yeah, Trojans. Yeah, Smith, really good run. Good job by the offensive line that time. That was just base spread offense play there, inside zone run. Mike, that was a great hole on that. I probably could have got a yard and a half. I know he got about five or six. <laughs> I might have got one on that. I'm old. And, Tim, that's something we've got. We, we've got to be able to establish something between the tackles. Absolutely, Mike. Again, snap from center. Up the middle, and again, they fill the hole quickly. Mike, I'm looking at that defensive line for, for Bleckley, and I don't mean this in a bad way. I don't think that, I mean, there's some big guys. I don't think they're necessarily overmatching our offensive line. No, they're, ju they're just doing a good job with their pad level getting low. And, exactly. Uh, that time, a nice play, uh, Mike, Mike, uh, Micah Floyd, number 17, coming down in the box from uh, – He's listed as a linebacker, outside linebacker here, who made a nice play crashing down on that play. Third down for the Trojans. We really need a first down here. Noah's back to pass. Quick pass over the middle. Nice catch. And that's definitely a first down, if not more. Yeah, great play by Cone there. I mean, Mike, that was a bullet. Cone did a great job. Keep the chains rolling with 3.30, down 21 to nothing trying to get into the Bleckley County territory, and let's get us some points here before the half. And, Tim, that's something that Noah shown last week uh, on one of his touchdown passes there uh, later in the game where he had to really zip it into some coverage. And, and he shows you there he, he can throw into a tight window when he has to. I'm telling you, Mike, he's showing a nice maturity here. He's not panicking in the backfield. Just doing a very, very great job on that. Hand off up the middle. Oh, yes, a nice, nice pickup and gain. Good job up front blocking it again, Mike. Now that just, that uh, was number 28 for the Trojans yeah. again, Kemon Smith. I noticed they're going a little bit more to Kemon now. Could be the out of the pistol. We pulled a backside lineman that time. Trojans got three receivers to the left, one to the right, one person in the backfield. Noah again hands it off to number 17. And he is met at the line. That was Fred Jones. And I'm going to tell you what, uh, number 17 for Bleckley as well that made the tackle. Kemon was trying to block him, and, and Floyd, Mika, Mika Floyd, uh -huh. he just basically shoved Kemon out of the way and then just made a, made a textbook and That was tackle. a good tackle. Yeah. All right, it is third down and four for the Trojans. we got to keep this drive alive. We're coming up on two minutes. Now we're under two minutes into the first half. Again, Trojans down 21 to nothing. Offense is one of the better drives we've had here this evening. And again, let's convert take a look. here. Man in motion, Noah going up the middle. Oh, breaks one tackle, breaks two tackles. And definitely. Oh, should be a late hit here, yep. yep. Yep, and here comes the flag. Noah was not going to be denied on that one, Mike. Just a design quarterback run to the right. And that's the, about the third time we've yeah, seen that tonight. And we, as again, that's that same uh, thing we saw last year with, uh, with Ian. Uh, ball on the hash, uh, three receivers to the, to the wide side of the field, and then run the quarterback to the weak side. And, Mike, are they going to tack on? Yep, it looks like they're going to tack on the penalty. Is this a 10 or 15-yarder on the late hit? Yep, uh, 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 should be 15. So right. this, yeah, go ahead, Mike. So 142 to go. Bleckley leading at 21 nothing, but the Trojans threatening here, trying to get a, some points on the board before the end of the half. Now, could be having a little technical difficulty, it looks like. Not sure what's going on. With the camera, on. but we'll stay here. Yeah, because we, we are recording. There he is coming okay. back. All right, so if you missed us, we got a personal foul penalty here. Noah uh, ran the ball. Picked up the first down. Then we had a 15-yarder tacked on, so we have the ball all the way down to the Bleckley 31, trailing 21-0, 125 to go second quarter. Noah back to pass, looking long, looking long. Nope, it's intercepted. He threw it right into the flat. And again, number 17, Kemon's going to try, but I don't believe he's going to get him. And again, unfortunately, number 26. Yeah, 
before oh, Blakely read that. Uh, yeah. So I guess that will go down as what a 69-yard interception. Yeah, if you know, and that's so unfortunate because, like I say, that was one of the better offensive drives. But I know the, the Trojans, no Coach Burleson, he'll have them uh, fired up and ready to come in in the second half. And yep. frankly, with a minute 11, it wouldn't surprise me at all to see us to go ahead and continue try to move on yep. down. Yeah, a tough break there. On that, so we'll we'll see what's going on with it here. But a minute 11. I know yep. we've got a lot of shout outs, probably maybe at the half if Patty can bring some up to us or I'll go down and see if yep. we can get a few. And we got Tommy and Ted here with Star 102.7 doing uh, the radio. Absolutely, and again, appreciate them. They we work well with uh, Ted and Tommy over the years. Yep. And uh, like we say, we appreciate them. They've got a section here and, and, and around the booth. And like we say, they, they do a great job. Station manager Tom Ball in attendance as well. Tim. Absolutely. And, and, and Tom, I, uh, kudos again. We, we, we talked about it a little bit, but McCray Ball has done a tremendous job. Oh, Tom. nice job of kicking tonight, Mike. He really has. Good job as a freshman. It's hard. Hard job to do, and he's doing great. All right. Bleckley leading it 27 0, 111 to go, awaiting the extra point here. And here comes the snap. Down, the kick is up. And it's good as the people at the concession stand scatter to try to get the ball. So the score is 28 to nothing, Mike, with 111 left. You know, Mike, just like we say, it's nice to play Monday morning quarterback because we're not we're we're not the ones making the decision. With a minute 11 left, what do you do, Mike? Do you go ahead and just try to drive it again? Do you try to do a quick score, mm. or does a lot of it depend on field position after the kickoff? Tim, I I think here you you just got to you just got to play football. I mean. Uh, just play your game. Play your game. Try to go down and score. I mean, that. Uh, remember, we get the ball to start the second half. Exactly. So if we could somehow go down, score here, then get the ball back, score, then you're back with two it. touchdowns. Absolutely. So a 75. I guess we count that from where he caught the interception. And he caught it, what, about the 25? 20, 25. I'm going to say 75 yards. I think you're right. Return, so. All right, back deep for the Trojans is number 22 for the Trojans. And, again, is that Collins? J.J. J. Collins, Collins. And 28, Kemon Smith. I'm wondering if they're going to try to kick it to Collins because yeah. he's had two good returns in a row. That's true. We might even see a squib kick. I was too. wondering that, too, Mike, to see if they could put a little more pressure on us. Here he comes with a kick. And that is going to go out of the end zone. So Trojans are set up shop, I believe, is on the 20-yard line or 25. Uh, I can't remember the, the route. 20. On the 20 here. Let me give a shout-out to Chad Puckett, who's listening and watching, and says the audio and video are both doing great. So well, Miss Patty should be proud to know that. And we really appreciate Chad and all the support he's given us. Yes. You know, quick, we've had a good time. Quick score in the first quarter. Clinch County leading Brooks County 10 to nothing. Wow. And that's at Homerville, right? Yes. Handoff over the side. Looks like uh, is that Trey. Let's see again, Mike. Number 16, Trey Bess. Yep, yeah. Trey Bess on the carry. We want to look yeah. at. We also, Mike, we might want to step out and get a little fresh air. I know that yeah. my deodorant yeah. may not necessarily be working too you well here. The, this reminds me, Tim, of a game John Marchant and I did in uh, Truthland County many, many years ago. Uh-huh. 32 seconds to go here. Run up the middle by the Trojans. And that's that number 85 again. That's the second play in a row for him. That is Chandler Chessman. And uh, he's made some good hits, Mike. Yeah. Very good hits. If you're just now turn, tuning in, Telfair is trailing 28 0. And looks, looks like, Mike, they may let the clock run yeah. here. Blackley County with two touchdowns in the first quarter and two here in the uh, second quarter. Uh, the Trojans had a great drive going here late in the half, what looked very promising, but uh, Chad Turner had other ideas. We do want to thank the Telfair County Chamber of Commerce. I had the pleasure of meeting Paula Anderson last week over at Lumber City. Had a great discussion about Farm Day with some of the women's club members over there. And a week from tomorrow, you have a chance to come out for Farm Day. Merchants and Citizens Bank, we appreciate all that they've done as our sponsor. Deep and deeper cleaning. I gave the crew the night off so they can watch the ball game here. Now, where TJ is, I do not know, but he's running around a little bit. The Bank of Lumber City and Telfair County Bank. Again, Troy Spires, like I say, good supporter of all athletic sporting events, as is the entire Bank of Lumber City, Telfair County Bank personnel. We appreciate them. Chris Ellis, CL Defense, him, Lamar Marshall, just a great job.
Yep, Trojans trailing it 28 nothing. They need to get something going here, Tim. And let's hope here in the second half uh, we can have a miraculous, miracle comeback here tonight. Well, Mike, if you go back, look at the Super Bowl. I hate to bring it up as Falcon fans. Up 28 to 3. Uh, yeah. Hey, so that's what I'm saying. You know, you never know with sports, and that's what that's why we both enjoy it so much, is because of uh, with the uncertainty of it and and, and the great way that, that these kids have played. And hey, we're ready for a good second half, starting the third quarter. And I want to give a shout out to Patty Deep, who's doing two cameras at the same time. So. Yeah, do not adjust your set. Because exactly. She's doing two of them, and we appreciate her doing one live and one recording. Wow, she's hey, she's a jack of all trades, and she is a what's what's that word? Multitasking. She's multitasking. All right, back deep for the Trojans, number twenty-two and number twenty-eight. 20. It's actually number 20, twenty this time. It is twenty this time. Quayshon. Quayshon Patterson, Patterson. Short again. Kick. Short kick. Go ahead, Mike. And there's a pile up. And they tried to squib kick. They tried to catch us off guard. Let's hope the Trojans recovered it. They did. It looks like a number 42. Yeah, that is. He's coming out with the ball, Mike. That is uh, James Register, a sophomore there. And you know, Mike, that gives us great field position at our own 44 to start the second half. Heads up play by Register. I was not expecting that. No, nah, hey, Lassiter, Von Lassiter trying to catch us off guard. But, uh, and Tim, let's see what adjustments the Trojans try to make here in the second half because uh, we really had no answer for the for the uh, defense by Blickley County. They've smothered us. We've seen a lot of that man coverage, that cover one. Right. And let's see if we can. Uh, looks like a little bit of a different look here. They'll they'll show a cover three look here. And again, Noah Harrelson with one runner in the backfield. Hands it off and again goes up the middle and it looks like he is met by about five members of the Blackley County defensive squad. And again, though, it was, it was like you say, a host, Tim, but it was led by that big number 34. And we talked about him earlier. That is a uh, big uh, Willie Harris. You got to love that. That's, that's a defensive line that's a, name. That's definitely a football name. Yeah. It looks like we lost one yard on the play. It's going to be second down and 11. Again, great crowd here for the Trojans. None of them have given up. And again, all of them excited again about as we get into the second half. Uh, the first time the night Blickley shows a, a double safety look. Noah going back and he's going long. A lot of contact there and there is a flag. I'm hoping it's gonna be defensive pass interference. We'll see. There was a lot of hand checking between the two receiver and the and the defensive back. Yeah, it was picked off by number five, Ty Williams, but uh, looks like I don't know that it's going to stand, but they are discussing it down there because both of them were definitely going for the ball, but it looked like there was a lot of hand checking, especially on the defensive end's part. Defense, excuse me, defensive back. And Tim, like I said, a little different Number look from Blackley that time. And it was pass interference on the defense, uh, Mike. Big time play. They they showed a, a double safety look. Looked like they actually played what's called quarters coverage, where right? You, where they split the field in, in quarters. So and again, unlike the pros, where it's the spot of the foul here, it looks like what is it about a 15 yard penalty? Yeah, yeah. But hey, that puts the Trojans deep into Blackley territory on their 43 yard line. First and ten, Trojans. 11:07 here early in the third quarter. And we go, Tim, with a bunch formation. We showed this a little bit against Wheeler last week. A little bit of a wrinkle here. We need, we definitely need something new to throw at Blackley County. Again, Noah Harrelson in the backfield. Mike, can you pick up that running back number four? Is that still Trey Best in the backfield? Yes, yep. it is. Trey gets the ball, doesn't get a lot on that carry, comes back to the line of scrimmage. Again, Willie Harris, Tim. We, we're just not able to block Harris at all. I tell you what, between Willie Harris's name and that running back, Pharaoh, yeah. they have had those been two dominant players for, yeah. for Blackley tonight. Yeah, Willie Harris has been a plague to our offense. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, it looks like the Trojans, again, are going to a no-huddle themselves. They're just calling the plays at the line. Noah's barking out to everybody to play. Looks like Mike again. Receivers lined up on the far side. Yeah, three receivers to that far side. Second and 10 from the 42. There's a snap. And again, a quick screen out. 
to number 16. Gave Trey a little bit of running room there. Yeah, you notice there, basically trying to get some numbers. We had three receivers to that side, single receiver here. We bring him in motion, then we throw the little dump, basically, a, I guess, like a screen or a swing pass to the back, trying to utilize all those blockers, getting them out in front. And so, Mike, that, so Mike, that gave us a pickup of three. Sounds like a wild fan in the back. That was just a PA yeah. announcer. All right, a third and seven here, and it looks like we're going empty set. And Tim, this is dangerous here because without a back in the backfield to help with the blitz, they can basically bring more than you can block. That's true, Mike. You know, it looks like out of this formation, have we done that quarterback draw out of this formation? Yeah, yeah you're, you're exactly right. It looks like a personnel change will bring Jerry O'Connor. Number 13 comes in. Who is that one? I have not. That's Rashad King. Okay. Yeah, I haven't heard, haven't mentioned Rashad's name this year. I know that he's played. And you would not be surprised if they don't bring the linebackers here and, and spy Noah to try to watch for that draw. Yep, they're doing that, Mike. Again, Harrelson's back. He's going long, and it looks like, again, a lot of contact down that away. Yeah, he was going for but no flag on it. Again, I know I sound like a kind of a home team person, but there was an awful lot of contact down there, but it's going to be fourth and seven for the Trojans on the 38. Mike, here, I think you're probably looking at us going for it as a way the yeah, first yeah. indication. I'm glad to see this tried it here. I would. I mean, it's, it's a good situation for him to try it in. It's a fourth and seven, a little bit long, but yeah. I'd love to see him keep this drive alive. Yeah, this is a big play. I mean, any chance to come back, you got to pick this up right here. Number 16, Trey Best to the right-hand side of uh, Noah. Noah trying to lead him down here to a first down. Back to pass one more time. Goes across to number two. And I was close. They're saying they're calling that an incomplete pass. But, Mike, that's sure. And I'm sure it was, but that was close. Number two for the Trojan, uh, Brent Smith. Yeah. Just couldn't hang on to it a little no, And, and uh, give number one credit also Lane Kitchens defending on that play. Whenever you say Lane's name, why am I thinking of Lane <laughs> Kiffin? Yeah, it, may, it makes you think. It does, I tell you what. Well, the ball goes over on downs with 9.33 left here in the uh, third quarter. Trojans down 28 to nothing. We want to see if the defense can make some adjustments, Mike, like you were saying. And let's see what we can do here against this Bleckley County offense. So 28 nothing, Bleckley leading at 9.33 to go in the third. Looks like Pharaoh is up the middle again. I mean, Mike, he's getting three, four, five yards a pop. Yeah, Kimon, was it Ke No, 21. Who is 21? Number 21 for the Trojans is uh, Cubby Wilcox. Uh, he came up from his safety position to make the tackle there. You know, Mike, ever since that first series with Bleckley, they have gone to that no huddle handoff again. Number three, Pharaoh looking for room. He somehow squirts through and gets another three or four. So it's going to be a third and a short one yard, one and a half yards to go. Tripped up that time, looked like by Jerry O'Conn. And, and Tim, you notice our safeties are really having to, to make a lot of these tackles now. They are. They're having to come up. And again, they're having to really watch that area that, that, that uh, Pharaoh's coming in. And you notice this time they go back in the pistol, but they got that uh, H back. Offset fullback over here to the right. Right, handoff again. Looks like Pharaoh again got the first down. Yep, and that's Nikeem Pharaoh. Yeah, and a big number, I believe it was number 68. Uh, Bo Dubose. Du du was he the he, lead he blocker, was the, He was the backside guard they pulled in behind the, the big fullback. Just a power play. Again, they're just trying to ramp it down our gut. Now they change running backs. It looked like Mike, it may be number 36. If you'll check that. Yeah, number 36. Patrick Taylor. Patrick Taylor. I don't know. That may be the first or second time he's run it tonight. Pick up a five on that one. Second down and five. Again, you know, Mike, you figured the defense has been out there a long time tonight. This weather could be wearing them down just a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Back to pass complete. Out over around to the 40-yard line. Tackle made by number seven. Looks like uh, he's – is that number seven, Mike? Yeah, Gerald Conan. He's down, Tim. There was, there was a bit of a head collision there. And so we'll take a moment as we see what's going on with Jer – was it Gerald Conan you yeah. said, Mike? Number, if you are listening at home, say a prayer right now for Gerald. 
And again, it looks like they're trying to bring someone from the medical staff over that away. He is, but but with that was a great sign. We do see him moving his arms and legs, arms Mike. and legs. So and we're just joining us. It's twenty-eight nothing. Uh, Telfair County and Blackley County here in Cochran tonight at Royal Stadium. Seven minutes, 53 seconds left. And Mike. Prayer there for Gerald. And again, if you're back home, continue to pray for this young man. And Mike, that's one of the most, one of the classiest moves yes, yes. that I've seen in a, another stadium. That, that, In fact, I think that's the first time yeah. that I've ever seen a home stadium when we're a visitor, someone do that mm -hmm. and lead a prayer for that. Young man, I tell you, that's that that speaks volumes yes. about this county. Yes, for them to watch. It know. is, it is, and you know one of the things, Mike. Though, if anybody happens to know anybody on the Blackley County squad, or anybody the Blackley County fans, or especially the the PA announcer, the the prayer that just came yes, out of the yes, blue, yes. and just for that, uh, and again the classy way that this town yes. treated it. Again, that is most appreciated by everyone here. Most appreciated. They dissipate, but, you know, and again, Patty said some folks are not sure what happened. They're just joining us. Jerry O'Cone uh, was making a one-on-one -on -one tackle. I'm afraid it was a bone-jarring tackle. He ended up on the ground. He has been taken to the local hospital, it appears, yes. by ambulance. He was immobilized on the stretcher, but he was moving his hands. He was moving his feet, his, his outer extremities. So, but they did immobilize him, and if we get any word, we'll certainly pass it to you before this broadcast is over. Mike, back to live action. It's first down and 10 from the 38-yard line for Blackley County. They're on the Telfair 38. Pass over and brought out of bounds by number 28 for the Trojans. Completed to number 10 for Blackley, and that is? Let's see, number 10, that was Andrew Thompson. And number 28 making the tackle for the Trojans, uh, I believe, was Kemon, yeah, Kemon Smith. Kemon Smith, my yeah, bad. We, no, no, man, we'll just keep these spread out. And don't let the technical director know that I put this on the computer. Again, run to Pharaoh, number three, up the middle. Picks up about what, Mike? About three maybe on the carry? Yeah. Uh, 73, Kamari Rowe, and number 28, was that? No, 20. That is... 20 is a Quayshawn Patterson in on the tackle. Again, both in. All right, guys, we have a third down and about six, maybe five here. Again, one running back in the backfield. You can guess who that is for Blackley. Watch out over here. They got a one-on-one -on -one matchup they may go to. And Mike, he is going back to pass. He's going to the opposite side. It looked like the ball was almost tipped. And so that was an incomplete pass. And so, Mike, that's going to make that a fourth down and six. Obviously, being deep in Trojan territory, you probably are looking for them going for it. They're on the Trojan 33-yard line, yeah. 32. Yeah, punt really won't do you much good. Hard to so Got to think they go for it. Love for the defense to make a stand here. Again, it was an empty backfield. Now, Pharaoh comes back in, lining up on the quarterback's right-hand side. This is uh, cover zero, man coverage across the board. Got a little bit of rush on number seven. Here comes 21 in there, and it's a great job by the Trojans. Pressure put on by number 73 of the Trojans. And also 21, Kobe Wilcox. And so him in. and Kamari Rowe, great job. So the ball goes over on downs. First down for the Trojans with 6.55 left here in the third quarter. 28 to nothing if you're just joining us. We have not got an update on Jerry O'Cone yet, but if we do, We'll certainly let you know he was in, like we say, um, got somewhat shaken up on a play mm -hmm. and again was taken to the hospital for precautionary reasons and hopefully we'll find out what's going on shortly. Well, director is your wife, you have to listen. <laughs> oh, nice game, nice game. Trying to get to it the looks like number 28, Kimon Smith at the 15. He's down to the 10, he's at the five. It is a touchdown and it's a flag free play, oh. Mike. You scared me. I thought when you said flag, you meant flag. And again, that was number 28, Kemon Smith. Mike, they've been trying to do that all night to hit that corner and go. Finally got to the edge. A 68-yard touchdown run by Kemon Smith. And finally, the Trojans on the board. 28 to 6, Trojans on the board. McCray ball will be in to do the extra point. It appears, or Mike, are they going for two? Looks like we're going to try for two here. 
No, no, we are going to go for the extra point. A Good big, thing I wasn't on the defense. I'd have been fooled. <laughs> big, big touchdown there. Run nice by, run. By Kimon Smith, 6.38 here in the third quarter. Getting ready for the snap. Hold the kick is up and a good kick and a nice kick so with that with 638 left here in the third quarter guys trojan mike trojans are on the board 28 to 7 let's let's pull that new orleans saint super bowl <laughs> onside kick and see what happens though i don't normally talk too positive about them saints as you know yep but that's a big big play and mike one of the things and i apologize for breaking away a second ago patty was telling me that a lot of the students are now on our site okay. uh, watching. We appreciate that. A lot of them saying pray for Manny, so that may be his nickname. Okay. I don't know yes, that. that, that Will, Will Rogers told me that that is his nickname. And so. so, again, he's got a lot of the student body praying for him. And like we say, Mike, towards the end of the fourth, I'll see if I can step over to the coach's booth and see if they've gotten any kind of updates on him. No doubt about it. But right now, Trojans are back on the board, 28-7, to a nice run. And, you know, we give Kimon credit, but there was some good blocking on that run. It was. that We we, we, we got got out there. Great job by the wide receivers. Yes. Uh, they're on the point of attack on the edge. One of the first times tonight that Blackley County could not set the edge. Exactly. All right, Trojans, a good defensive stand, too, by the Trojans to get the ball back. McCray ball here to kick it. Kind of a short kick and caught it the 30. He broke through that first wall and got up to the 50. That's number four, I believe. Yeah, yeah about for a, Cochran. About a 22-yard kickoff return. And there. that was who, Mike? Bryce? Bailey. Oh, Bailey, excuse yeah, me. Ba Bailey with, uh, of course, the 20-yard the touchdown pass uh, tonight. Yeah, Bryce Bailey. Yeah, touchdown reception. But yeah, going back to that fourth down, that was huge earlier. The Trojans went man across the board, but they uh, they dropped Ulysses McMillan in there and double team that slot receiver. Right. They did a really good job. Let's let's see if the Trojan defense can build off of that. Again, number seven was trying to pass, and again, it was a great pressure by number four, Ernest, Ernest McNeil. McNeil. Good pressure on that. And, and Mike, I heard, I didn't hear him last week, but I've heard the cowbell chorus yes. out here tonight. Yes. And Tim, for the first time tonight, really some life coming out of this Trojan fan base. Absolutely. Again, Trojan defense trying to hold, run to Pharaoh, trying to get around the corner. He does get some yardage, but he's going to be a little bit short of that first down. Trying to catch and see who made the tackle, but I couldn't tell. See what PA. I was going to say, I was thinking number four for the Trojans or number 13 were right at the point of tackle, which would have been McNeil again or possibly Rashad, Rashad King. Rashad King, yeah. Hard to tell there. Third down two on the far side of the field here. See if the Trojans bring pressure. Again, looks like Pharaoh up the middle, and he does convert for the first down. One thing we were talking about, Pharaoh, or Pharaoh, however, uh, a 76.6 yard uh, per carry average coming into the game, Tim. And he, both of the games this season, he's rushed for, well, now third game rushed for 100 yards. Looks like a quick pass almost, oh, almost intercepted by number 18 for the Trojans, now Ulysses look. McMillan, right there, Mike at it. Yeah, he, he did a good job undercutting the route. Mike on, on the Pharaoh kid. And that from, was the uh, big, uh, the big six-five receiver that time. For on the running back, Pharaoh, any word on colleges? Are they looking at him, or do we know at this do, point? Do not. He does a great job of putting his foot in the ground and cutting back. He does. Has some good talent. Pass complete to number eleven on the far side. Still on his feet, and then tripped up by number. Is that sixteen, Mike? I believe that's either sixteen or eighteen. I believe that was Trey Bess on the tackle. Okay. And Tim, that was a case. Give Lassiter credit. He saw that we were playing off coverage right. over on that side, and just quick, quick dump off there for the first down. First down for Bleckley County. They drive here, trying to get that score back against the Trojans. Looks like there could have been a little bit of movement. Let's see. 
Yeah, I'm thinking Blackley reacted. We crept, we crept Ulysses McMillan up on the uh, up on the line of scrimmage like he might be coming. Uh, and that caused a, a little movement, yeah, Mike. On a slight blitz. Clock's moving. Five and a half minutes left here in the third quarter. Trojan defense trying to make a stand here. Little screen to 11. Gets, oh, he's putting on the afterburners, and he will score for Blackley. So just like that, they come back in less than two minutes, Mike. And they'll make it 34 to 7. Yeah, 29-yard touchdown pass. I tell you what, Mike, they did have a good screen set up for him out that way. And then that speed, he just was too, it was too quick. Yeah, yeah. That is uh, number 11. That was uh, Marcus Brown with the touchdown. Again, Trojan defense trying to stop him on the extra point here. Number nine for Blakely getting ready to try that extra yeah, that point. That is uh, Hugh Carney. Kick is up. Good, and three people in the hot dog stand look like almost dropped the coach. That ball, that ball went so far. Tim, that was just uh, that was the textbook way that you execute a screen pass. It was, and again, you know, the, you score and then you answer a score, and that's what Blackley did here. But seven, Blackley leading it. They led 28 nothing at the half. Trojans with an early third quarter score as uh, Kemon Smith went 68 yard uh, rushing touchdown. But uh, Blackley answers with a 29-yard touchdown pass to Marcus Brown on a little screen pass. So whereas the first half we were down 28 to nothing, it's seven to seven here in the third yeah, quarter. Hey, that's exactly right. And yep. you know you just got to take it a step at a time with this ball game, and to kind of get some positives out of it. Looks like again they're going to kick it, going deep, and it will be brought out by number 22. I believe that's JJ Collins. That's correct. He's got him a wall, Mike. If we can get a block, yep, and he gets that corner. J.J. is up to the 35, to the 40, and ooh, brought out of bounds. Looks like the, the hit, look like the hit. The fans are wanting kind of a late hit out of bounds, Mike, because he was headed out of bounds. Yeah. Don't see any flags on it. He caught that on what, about the 12? Well, yeah, he was way back there. I was thinking he was inside the 10, he, but I, you I may think, be. I think you're right, Tim. I think he caught it on about the uh, the 8. But, Mike, I tell you, the, the guy is so calm. Because yeah. when if, if anybody goes back and watches this recording, if you watch him, he, he goes slow, he watches the field develop, and then he picks the direction he's going. Very, right. very impressive. Very impressive. You make a great point, Tim. Noah Harrison still at the controls at the quarterback spot. 35-7, Blackley leading it, 5.06 to go third quarter here in Cochran. Handoff, and it looks like he throws it outside. Nice yardage gained here. Oh, yeah, nice missed tackle. Great job by number 21 for the Trojans. And that is Kobe Wilcox. And Mikey made a nice little move to make one tackle or miss and to get that extra five or six yards. I, I like the play call, Tim. They they fake the jet sweep. Blackley back backing up, and then they throw the throw the little dump off pass to him. And, and really you drive. you beat that one on one matchup and then you get that what is it, the yak yards after the yes, catch? Yes. And that shows you these Telfair receivers have the ability to make big plays and like you say, they can they can take it the distance from anywhere on the field. Nice drive here for the Trojans, 439 left. A pitch out to Trey Best trying to hit that corner. He does. Trey Best has got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 yards all the way down to about the 24, 23 yard line of Blakely. And Mike, like you say, this Trojan team, they got a lot of fight left in them. Yeah, that, that was that little toss play we saw last week. And that, that ladies and gentlemen, is what these Trojan backs and receivers can do. When, the ones that are coming out of those out of on jet sweeps and various things, but what these speedy uh, athletes the Trojans have can do when you get them out in space. So 35-7, Blackley leading it, 4-13 to go here in the third quarter, but the Trojans are threatening. Again, snap to Harrelson. Mike, uh, excuse me, uh, Gage goes back throwing long. And there was some contact back that away, but no call on the play. 
Mike, I apologize for being pulled away for just a moment. We have a number of people that are still concerned about the injured player for the Trojans earlier, Gerald Cohn. Again, we have no update at this point, but we can say even though he was taken to a local medical facility, we can say that he was moving his arms, his legs, excuse me, his hands. Fingers and, and toes. So. And again, for those of you that are not closely following football, that's always a good sign in an injury of some kind that you are moving your extremities. Yes. Second and 10 here. Hand off. And, uh, oh, that was a great hole. There goes Trey Best. Touchdown Trojans. And just like that, and again, just like that, Mike, I tell you, Trojans have scored two touchdowns in the last five and a half, four and a half minutes. And just like that, it's 35 to 13. Trojans down again by just three scores. There is no quit in this Trojan team. They're doing a great job here in the second half. 25-yard touchdown run by Troy Besson. There, Tim, shows you, as we said, the, the, the maturation of Troy Best, not just the speed, but the power, being able to, to break a couple of tackles on that play and bust it for the big one. I mean, Mike, like I say, you're absolutely right. His power and maturity definitely has shown on that play. McCray ball in to try the extra point. High snap. Noah goes down, and again, there was really nothing he could do at that point. Nah, it looked like the, the snap was just a little bit high. Yeah, a bad snap that time. Little pooch kick. It's going to go short to the 25-yard line. And again, a host of Trojans come flying in. Yeah, number 11, number Cameo. Cameo put a shoulder pad into the running back, a runner at that point, Mike. Yeah, he made uh, Bryce Bailey pay that time. Tim, real quick. Thank our sponsors, Telfair County Chamber of Commerce, the Merchants and Citizens Bank, Deep and Deeper Cleaning, Bank of Lumber City and Telfair County Bank, CL Defense, Telfair County Recreation Department, and Telfair County Middle School. As always, support the businesses and organizations that support your Trojans. All right, first down and 10 from the 33. Again, this is the farthest we've had them backed up in this half. Again, a high pass over to number 10. There are three Trojans down there running out of bounds very quickly. Again, led by number 20 for the Trojans, yeah, Mike. Quayshawn Patterson comes up and bumps him out of bounds. And he was assisted by a couple of other of the Trojans, Mike. You know, it's, it's interesting. This is about the furthest back that we have had him in this half. Yeah. We, we've made an adjustment. Uh, we're playing a lot more cover three. All right, the quarterback for Bleckley County gets the ball. Hands it to Farrow again, and oh, nice job by the interior line. Again, 67 brought him back inside, and number four made the tackle. Yeah, great, great play. Hayward, 80 brought him back in, Mike, and it looks like, who was that number four? Ernest McNeil finished him up. All right, it's a third and five, and again, you stop them here, this will be the, probably the second time they've had to punt tonight. Big, big play right here. Trojan defensive line getting adjusted. Four-man front, low snap. Number seven throws over the middle, and it is complete. I think it's forward progress, though, Mike. We'll get him the first down. Yeah, he, basically, we were backing off there. We played that, that quarters. Again, cover four quarters. People are familiar with football. That's splitting the, the, the deep part of the field in, in the, in the four, four quarters of a, of a <laughs> That's it, kind of like the bottom. Yep. That's it, that five. Hand off to Farrow up the middle. I tell you what, the defense has done a better job here on this drive, slowing Farrow down. He's been getting six or seven a pop. Looks like he picked up about four on that one, which is still a sizable yeah. amount, but it's less than what he has been doing. Tim, I think one thing we're we're doing right here, right now, we're, we're you're using several different looks on defense, and and it's definitely helping. Some adjustments that the Trojans have made. Hand off in the backfield, Farrow. Oh, great job by the Trojan defense. In fact, we almost had it. Looks like the ball was loose. Are they calling it? I know that it was loose in the backfield. They kind of got him. Kobe Wilcox came up with the ball. Kamari Rowe made an outstanding play. On the handoff exchange, it looked like it was pulled a little bit loose. Yeah. But then I couldn't tell if it actually came out, Mike. I, know, I missed it. And well, Trey Blankenship comes off the field limping here. 
Are they working on his uh, ankle, that appears. All right, we'll keep an eye on Trey there. Big third down, Tim, third and 10. And I believe it's about third and about, I think they've, third yeah. and five, but now the referees are having a nice discussion here. Now, if they would like it, we'll be glad to give them an opinion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you. It's, it's really, I think they got it backwards because it's, it's not on the five yard no, line. They I got think, the scoreboard. I think the, the scorekeeper up there, just a little confused yeah. that that happens. Yeah, the ball is on. Bleckley's on their own. They are saying it's a Trojan ball. It was indeed a fumble. Huge turnover by the Trojan defense, Tim. And so, Mike, with 141 left here in the third quarter, a score here, and it gets interesting. It gets very interesting. Yeah, if you are just joining us, it is a 35-13 Bleckley County leading. They led 28-0 at halftime, but the Trojans have added a couple of touchdowns. We're and just gotten a huge turnover, recovering a fumble at the 49-yard line of Bleckley County with 141 to go in the third. And as Tim just said, if Telfair County can uh, score right here, this game will get very, very interesting. It's, it gets very, very interesting, like you said, Tim. It does. And, again, like we say, our technical director told us to be sure to tell the score, and we are. Yep. You know, but if you have missed it, we, we certainly updated. It's 35 to 13, yeah, Mike, as you just, just said. We just mentioned it again. So, 35-13, 141 to go. It was 28 nothing, Blackley County at halftime. And, and I'll be honest with you, Mike, a score here. You know, on this drive, the momentum could be shifting into the fourth quarter. No doubt about it. All right, Noah Harrelson back at the uh, quarterback position. Again, quick handoff to Trey Best, who makes a nice move up the middle, a good pickup of about three and a half to four yards. That big number 34, Willie Harris on the tackle. But, but Tim, we're... We're starting to, the ground game is starting to really work now. It really is. And I like to say, Mike, some of the issues you've said have definitely come in. We've had a couple of players that have been a little bit injured. We had yeah. Trey Blankenship with an ankle to and now, now number 16. Trey, Trey Bass. You know, with an ankle. So hopefully earlier tonight we had Noah Harrelson down and he got, yeah. was able to recover and come back. And, of course, Jerry O'Cone, our thoughts and prayers are with him and the mm -hmm. family as he was carted off the, uh, on uh, an ambulance. But. Uh, he was moving his hands and feet, so our prayers are, are certainly with him. Noah going right over the middle. Beautiful catch by number 17, Fred Jones, who Fred came out earlier with a leg injury as well, and he's back in there. Beautiful job that time. It was cover three from Blakely County, a three-deep zone, and Noah read it perfectly, found the soft spot in the zone, delivered the, the, the strike, the rock, right to it, first down. And again, we're on the 35-yard line of Bleckley County. We're inside of 40 seconds. Would love to see if we can get one, maybe two plays before the end of this quarter. Again, Trojans again lining up. Tall sweep over to number 28. And again, I believe that was Kemon Smith. Nice pick up by Keymon. It looks like, Mike, that will probably take us to the start of the fourth quarter. Quick injury update. I'm watching Trey on the sideline along with number eight. Uh, was that Patrick, Patrick Toots, Toots that I believe, was that him that got, that got hurt a minute ago? Yeah, I think we've also both, had Trey Blankenship come out as well. And it so. looks like they both, though, put a little ice on, on the leg and they're standing. So they may come back. I guess we'd have to list them as questionable. Yeah maybe coming back but it's the fourth quarter Mike and again it's been a very entertaining and frankly a nice preview of what the season may hold for the Trojans this year yeah no doubt if you are just joining us uh, the score is 35 to 13 we're about to start the fourth quarter and this will be your CL defense fourth quarter here and uh, 35 13 uh, Blakely County with 28 unanswered points in the first half. The Trojans then would get on the board in the third with a 68-yard touchdown run by Kimon Smith. Blakely would answer with a 29-yard touchdown pass to Marcus Brown. And then uh, Trey Bass with a 25-yard touchdown run. Then the Trojans with a huge turnover. Exactly. Fumble recovery by number 21, uh, Kobe Wilcox at the Blakely 49. And the Trojans have the ball now and are driving. Again, Bleckley leads 35-13, uh, start of the fourth quarter. Right, well. Tro Trojans lining it up. First down 
on the Blakely County 28, excuse me, second down and three. Uh, pistol here, offset pistol. Number 17 in motion for the Trojans. And they hand it right up the middle, Mike. I didn't catch that number, number 20. Oh, Kimon again. Kimon 28, excuse me. Yeah, 34, Willie Harris and the linebacker, uh, Zach Stanley combined on stopping. Now Kimon is down. Again, I'm looking at the other injured players on the sideline. Again, Trey still putting a little bit of ice on that upper part of his ankle. And again, he's walking a little bit gingerly on it, but I think probably he's gonna be okay the way it looks but I'm no medical staff. Kimon is up and moving. Who is that? Who is that? Barbie. Barbie Benson, right, our mother. So uh, again, Barbie, I think, said she's watching the Braves on the television. And the Trojans on the computer. So thanks to Miss Barbie, as always, for her support. Oh, man, she is a fantastic lady and, again, does a great job on the rec department board. Appreciate all of her support yeah, here. And, uh, Jacob is behaving, Miss Barbie. We see him down there. Don't let him lie to you, Barbie. No, <laughs> he is. He's doing a good. He's a very nice young man. I know you're proud of him. 11.41 to go. 35-13. Blackley leading. It's third and one. Big third down right here, Tim. Be big for the Trojans to convert. Obviously, it's four down territory, Mike. There's, okay, looks like... Uh, Gage, excuse me, Noah's changing the uh, yeah, yeah. back move from shotgun to pistol. Oh, and he's met right and at the uh, line. Guess who? Is it uh, Willie Harris? Willie Harris again. And th that's just a case right there, just getting out manned up front. And, Mike, I've got to apologize, though. I know the Harrelsons wouldn't mind. I've called uh, Noah Gage, Mike, and all of them. So, yeah. again, Noah knows I, I think hey, the world man. of him. and. But the whole Harrelson family, good people, and we appreciate all their support. And Mike over at the rec department. Okay. We, we got a, a message here to tell everyone to like and share. So All right. That. So to please like and share. And, uh, Tim, right here, big play, 35-13. to 13. If you're just joining us, Blackley County leading our Trojans, 35-13, 11.05 to go in the fourth. The Trojans are at the Blackley 30-yard line facing a fourth. We actually lost yardage on that play. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a fourth and maybe one and a half to two, Mike. So based on so where we, the yard marker is. So it looks like we is. got some forward progress on that. Just we? a little bit. Mike, on, on this, so I mean. the ball's actually on the 25, isn't it? And it should be, no, is it on the? That, the scoreboard's incorrect. Yeah, the scoreboard's yeah. incorrect. It's definitely on the 25-yard line. The, the uh, side away from the goal yeah, post. Yeah. Trey Bess is in the backfield. Again, Noah Harrelson at the controls. And a two tight end set, first time tonight. So, again, up the middle. Yes, a little power football. I believe he got it, Mike. Number, yeah, that's a first down. Great job by number 16, Trey Bess. Some good blocking up front. And, again, keeps, oh, yeah, yeah, keeps yeah, him going 35, here. 35-13. And again, if you're just joining us, as, minutes to go. as Mike was saying, we've had a number of Trojans at some minor injuries, been in and out of the lineup. Jerry O'Cone, we haven't received any word on him yet. But again, if we do get it before the end of the night, we'll certainly pass that on. Yeah, I like I like the two tight ends, and we stick with it, Tim. Absolutely. Again, again two tight ends, a wide receiver to each side, single back off uh, in the gun. And a snap, and again, Toss over again to Trey, trying to get the corner, Mike. I believe he has. There is a penalty flag. There's two flags. I mean, he gets it down inside the five to about the two. But I'm afraid about what those flags could be. Can you tell? Yeah, I'm afraid that's going to be a hold. But well, let's wait and see. I like, I like the play, though, that little toss play. And, I mean, it looked like there was some good blocking. But from this angle, I couldn't see the hold, though it's possible it was. Let's see, Mike, if that's what it was. I'm going to guess, Tim, if there was a hold, it would have been on the wide receiver that was out right. on the edge there. And that is what it looks like they're calling. It looks like they did call a hold on that. So if you're just joining us, Blackley County leads it 35-13, 10-25 to go. Here, now, Mike, the, uh, go ahead, I'm sorry. Here in the third quarter, Telfair trying to mount a comeback. We were down 28 nothing at the half, but have rallied to cut it to 35-13 here. And, Mike, it looks like the penalty was from the spot of the foul. 
So that backs us up big time on the 29. Yeah, so we're only back four yards from the original line. Okay, it just took, so, so my but it bad. took that big gain away. Yeah, it took the big gain away. Yeah, my bad. All right, Noah still quarterback, and we got Trey Best in the backfield, and there goes Noah. A little bit of time throws out in the flats to number 11. He breaks one tackle. Nice move by number 11. Was that Cameo, cameo Blankenship? Blankenship? Yes, sir. Great job like of toughness. Vern, I like the Vern uh, Lundquist there. Yes, sir. <laughs> it shows you the, the physicality of, of Cameo. Absolutely. I and mean, that, he's not afraid of any contact, Mike. And that, again, uh, basically it was to the three receiver side, send them downfield, throw the ball behind the line of scrimmage, try to get some blocks out there and, and spring him for a big play. All right, second down and just inside 10 yards for a first. Nine minutes, 38 seconds left. Trojans down 35-13. Trojans come up to the line, got the play from the sideline. Noah readjusts where Trey Best should be. Dre is to his right-hand side. Man in motion, and looks like there's a penalty. There was a lot of movement, Mike. And uh, Did we have two going at the same time? I believe so. Double safety look here, Tim. Uh, Bleckley Luke could be playing cover four quarters. So that's going to bring us back to about a second and 15. Clinch, ladies and gentlemen, Clinch leading Brooks County. Actually, it's a final. Clinch has defeated Brooks County 37 to 7. Tonight. Mike, that's an incredible score. Noah back to pass, looking right, looking right, looking right. Comes over the middle, complete to number 13. He breaks one tackle. He breaks a second tackle. He's knocked down by number eight, but holds on to the ball. Number 13 for the Trojans was Rashad King. Mike, great job great of job. hanging on to that ball. And, and a great route, Tim. Per, great job by the receiver to find the open hole in the zone defense, sit down, and, and Noah delivering again. We've seen him deliver the – Delivered the ball nicely there. Now, I believe we got a first and goal on about the seven and a half, eight yard line. 8.47 to go. Trojans trail at 35 13. Toss sweep to Trey. He's got the corner, Mike. He's got the corner. No. Oh. They came down on him very quickly. I don't know who got over there. It had to be the safety, I would think. I mean, he flew from over there, Mike. Can you tell who that was? I couldn't tell, but a great defensive play to save a touchdown by Blackley. But Tim Rashad, I thought Rashad King was did it was doing a great job blocking over right. there, right? And I thought he was going to be enough to spring him. Pat, uh, excuse me, my wife Patty was saying the reason Rashad plays so well is because. She taught him in the second grade. I'm sure they had all fundamentals of football back then that time. 8.36 to go. Trojans trail 35-13, but have the ball second and goal on the Blakely three. And again, handoffs. Went back up the middle. Touchdown, number 17. It looked like a late hit by number 21 out that way. That, oh, excuse me, number 11, Mike. That's excuse Cameo me. Blankenship. So, Cameo, my mistake on that. Number 11, I believe. Mike, double check me on that. Yep, that was Cameo, a three-yard touchdown run. Well, it's 35 to 19. Do we go for the single for one point or the two here, Mike? Is it too early to do that? Uh, Probably we're going to need to. It looks like yeah. no. McCray ball is out there to do the extra point. That's okay. That way we'll just be yeah. two scores well, down. You, if you go too early, you chase points the whole rest of the game. So not a bad call here. Kick is up, almost blocked, but it is good. And Mike, I tell you what, we've got to give these Trojans credit. Yes. You're down 28 to nothing. It would be easy just to go through the motions and boom, be done. But Coach Burleson and his staff and these players have such pride in, in yes. what they're doing that, hey, even though the odds look pretty rough, Nice comeback here. You know, McCray's had some pretty good hang time. Yeah, he, he's done a good job with with, uh, with some of these specialty kicks. So we'll see. Looks like the referees are coming out to discuss something. If you're just joining us, it is 35-20, Blackley County, 8.32 to go in the ball game. And apparently there's a delay of game on well, Telfair. Is that what it was, Mike? Or do you use, where do you usually kick it off from? Is it the 40 or the 35? Yeah, from the 40. So. Okay, so there was a little delay there. 
All right, here we go as we get ready to have an exciting eight minutes and 32 seconds left. There, Mike, he hit it in the area that you said, and that oh. ball was loose for just oh one minute. Oh, my goodness. Number two, Brent Smith almost came up with that football. I really Telford. thought he had it for one moment. Mike. I thought the kick was executed perfectly by, by McCrory Bond. Absolutely. And we almost got that one. Great kick, and I mean, you know, I believe if he'd have caught that himself, he might have been headed to the end zone. And the way I don't know going. if you can advance it, but we would have the ball right there. I, know. I do know in the pros I've seen him advance. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know about high, high school, school Mike. That's, You're that's right. The, that's the question. Yeah, 35-20, Blackley leading it, 8.30 to go here. And again, Trojan defense, this is where they one more time got to answer the call. They've had three good defensive stands here in the second half. A lot more zone defense from the Trojans here. A little pass out on the screen to number 11. Oh, tripped up in the backfield by number 13. Not a large gain, I don't believe, Mike. Rashad King flying up there. And you know, Mike, this second half, we have really heard Rashad's name mentioned a lot. Big time tackle there. Looks like he may have lost a yard on that. Yep, lost two, yeah. second and 12 second and on 12. that. 8.02. Hey, folks, if the Trojans get a stop here, anything possible, only down 35-20. Uh, hand off to Farrow, and he picks up about eight or nine. Looks like, let's see where the spot of the ball is going to be, about the 43-42. I believe Kobe Wilcox with the tackle. Third down and about three. Trojans trying to get number five off the field quickly. Pass over to the side. Oh, almost intercepted. I mean, this Trojan defense has gone crazy, Mike. They are all over the field. And I almost fell. I got so excited. Who was that? Was it, it looked like number 13 Rashad almost. King I again? think it was Rashad. I wouldn't swear it, but I believe it was. Breaking in front. And again, there was a penalty, it looks like, I believe, on Blackley. Mike, is this one you can decline? Or did it happen before the snap? That's going to be the question here. I'm thinking, let's see what they're going to do here. Again, I'm not sure what the penalty must have been after the snap. He is going to decline it. 7.34 to go. Fourth down for Blackley. Mike, punting unit looks yeah. like it's coming out. Let's see. Yeah, I believe so. 7.34, Telfair trails 35-20. But uh, we're about to get the ball back. And Mike, if, if this is not a fake, which I don't think it is, number 17, Fred Jones. I, I, I don't know, Mike. I got a feeling about this play. Let's check it out and see. Hopefully it'll be a good return for Fred. Trojan uh, defense or special team does not need to jump off sides. It's a fourth and four. Yeah, you're exactly right. Very disciplined right here. Stay disciplined. Don't, don't jump off sides. There's the snap, the kick. Oh, it's a beauty of a kick. Fair catch by Fred, wise decision. Wow, all right, that ball was kicked. Mike, ball was 32. it's marked at the 20. Nope, excuse me. Looks like they're going to the 15, 14 yard line, 15 yard line. So a 45 yard punt. It was a beautiful punt. He did it towards the sidelines. And so, again, I think it's good in a way Fred caught that rather than taking a roll. But, Mike, 85 yards to glory, and then we're one score down. Hey, that's exactly right. 7.31 to go. If you're just joining us, Blackley leads it 35-20. to 20. Uh, They led Telfair 28-0 at the half, but the Trojans have rallied and are within two touchdowns here. All right, Mike, let's see what we go with here. If we're going to start passing it or if we're going to continue with the run and co pass combination. Nora Harrelson back in uh, shotgun. He does hand it off right up the middle for a nice gain was Trey Best. Mike, that hole opened and closed pretty quick. He got a good five, six yards on that, it looks like. Tim Bleckley's loading that box up again like they did earlier in the game. And, and you can live by the sword and die by the sword. You stuff the play, but if if the back gets through and there's nobody back there, it's, it's off to the right. I saw a lot of green, yeah, Mike. Especially with somebody like Trey Bess running the ball. 7 one to go. Again, Noah's looking to his left. Look at that throw and complete. Oh, just dropped it. And Tim, they missed one over there. I, 
the, our other receiver on that side that was taken off on a go route. Right, was he over he was, he was grabbed by the Blakely uh, defender, but no call there. So this is going to bring up a third and five with 6.56 left, down by two scores, 35-3. It looks like Telfair has two timeouts left. The Royals have three. Yeah, 35-20, Blackley leading at 6.56 to go. Third and five, and you hear the Blackley PA announcer and crowd really coming up. Now. He really is, and the Trojan fans are trying to answer in kind. Empty backfield, Mike. And we we have a receiver to move early. So that's gonna hurt. That's That'll gonna back it up to third and 10 now. And again, with 6.56 left, Mike, let's hope we can get a good chunk of this back. Six. And then bring up either a first or maybe fourth and short, and then you see what we do. Yep, 6.56 to go. Trojans trail at 35.20. Again, thanks to Telfair County Chamber of Commerce, Merchants and Citizens Bank, and Deep and Deeper Cleaning. And we'll mention the rest of the sponsors in a bit. Big play. Here's a snap to Noah. Looking to his right. Oh, he's looking for number 13. Oh, and there is a flag. Absolutely. Number five was all over him, yep, Mike. Yep. And so, again, it looks like, unless I miss reading it, it looks like the Trojans should pick up. Would you get the first down on that? Yeah, yeah. Well, let me – in high school, it's, unless they've changed the rule this year, it's not an automatic first down. So, it could be – It depends if it's a 10-yard penalty or a – 15. 15. Yeah. There's so many – ladies and gentlemen, as many of you may not know, Rules in high school, very different from uh, what you see on Saturday and Sunday. I've always been a big proponent of trying to get some of these things we do on I Friday agree. night to be the same. Okay, Mike, it looks like given the penalty. Ten yard, yeah. It's going to be a first down. And it will be a first down, okay. So, again, first down for the Trojans on their own 30-yard line. So, it was a 15-yarder, so, okay. Trojans still in business, guys. Six minutes, 50 seconds left. Mike, you think about it at the nine minute mark, we're down 35 to seven. We're at the 650 mark and it's 35 to 20. Yeah, big time. Noah Harrelson in the backfield. They may bring pressure again. Again, he's looking, moving, moving, moving. Get out of the way there, Noah. Again, he comes down for a nice game. Number Good pickup by Noah. Yeah. And Blackley's starting to bring the heat, you know, Tim, on the play where we uh, got the first down on the pass interference. Noah had to really did a great job standing in the pocket because they brought a linebacker late. And he got it off in time. I know that this is probably not right, but if you look at some of the Blackley uh, players, a lot of hands-on hips on this defense. Yeah, you're right. You know, they've been on the field more this half than they were in the first, and usually that's an indication that they could be getting a little tired. Not that that – that they are, but you know, when you get them hands on the hips, it tells you something. All right, do we have a penalty? Looks like there was a penalty on the Trojans that was on the first down play, so it should be. First and 15. So, right? yeah, so a first and 15, five yard penalty. I'm not sure what the call was, Mike. It probably was a block of some kind as Noah was scrambling out, but I, wouldn't, I couldn't swear that. All right, they right. got a five man front here. Hand off up the middle, no gain. Willie Harris again. Been everywhere tonight. I tell you, Willie Harris and, and Trey Best, I believe it was Trey, they getting become real acquainted tonight. Yeah, yeah. And um, Trey has had his moments too yes, tonight. No He's done a, great, done a great job. 6-16 to go, 35-20, Blackley leading it. Uh, we're facing though, it, well, it's actually second and 15. They right. still do not have that scoreboard correct. I think they're hoping. And now? But yeah, it should be second down. And is there another penalty, Mike? I don't know. The, the official on this side said something to a King, Rashad King, about something. I'm not sure what it was. Rashad is it talking could, to the coach and to the It could have been something either he said, it could have been an equipment thing. Don't, don't want to speculate one way or the other here. It could be an equipment thing. They have emphasizing that this year. Okay, Trey's getting lined up on Noah's left-hand side. Again, a five-man front. Will they bring a linebacker? Three receivers to the left-hand side. 
Okay, again, Noah saw a little bit of an opening there. He probably picked up about five or six on that. That yeah. should bring up a third down and about 13, Mike. Yeah, number number eight, Willie Chambers, an outside linebacker, came off his block and uh, tackled Noah there. Well, at least it wasn't Willie Harris. Exactly. <laughs> so it's third down and 13. And it looks to appears to be that quarters coverage here, which means on the outside, Tim, would be a one-on-one -on -one if you can make a play outside. All good, nice, nice one to Trey Best to pick it up, make this fourth down very manageable, Mike. I like that, it was a combo route. The outside receiver basically ran an in route clear, clearing and then a little out route behind that to, to Trey Best. Great job there by the Trojans. All right, Mike, this is probably the key play of the game. And it looks like there is a timeout. Is that an official's timeout, Mike? All right, Ian Blankenship. Ian, if you're just joining us, your Trojans were down 28 nothing at the half, but have rallied and trail here 35-20 with 4.52 to go in the fourth quarter. And it looks like there was a penalty on the play, a late hit, I believe, Mike, after the tackle. And I believe. So that brings us up to about a fourth and one, possibly. Yeah, yeah, fourth and one. So Ian, it, pull them, cheer hard for them here. Fourth and one. We need a first down. Again, that's that quarterback draw, Mike, and it's a first down. Great call, great call. That's been there all night long on the short yardage yeah, situation. Yeah. Four minutes, 43 seconds left. Clock won't start until the official gives a signal. Trojans have come back from their 15 yard line all the way up to the 45. 35, 20. At about the nine minute mark, we were down 35, seven, and now we're trying to break through and make it a one score game. And again, Noah looking, 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 trying to find it, gonna have to just scramble it and get it out of bounds. And, oh, Looks no. like a late hit. I cannot believe there wasn't a call on that, number 30. Yeah, I believe there was a flag, Tim. There needs to be. Yeah, yeah, they did. Good, a good job by the official, Mike, because I hate to get political here or, or sound one-sided, but the, yeah. the guy was out of bounds. At yeah. Now, maybe we got a better view than the official does. Zach Stanley, the uh, inside linebacker, just And, of hit. course, there is some... There is some trash talking going on between the receiver and the cornerback, so we need to keep our calm yeah. here. But yeah, definitely a late hit. Heads up play by Noah. Nothing there, scrambles, gets what he can get, and gets out of bounds. I tell you what, Noah took a hard hit into that fence. I mean, yeah, that fence he did. moved. I tell you, Noah's showing his mental toughness and physical toughness tonight. He it really is. is. He stuck it out and played a great, great game. And Mike, I believe this is gonna be one of those 15 yarders which brings us all the way down to the Blackley 35, 34 and a half yard line. So that's a huge penalty, Tim. Now it'll be, yeah, first and 10 Trojans on the Blackley 34. We trail 35 to 20. There are four minutes, 26 seconds left. Empty set, Tim. Absolutely, and again, got three receivers on the left-hand side, two on the right-hand side, no one in empty backfield. There's a snap. Looking, 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 pass is complete to number 13. He does fumble the ball. It looks like we may have recovered it. Yeah, somebody made a yes. heads up play. Number 17, is that correct, Fred, Mike? Yeah. Fred, the ball was caught by Rashad King and then Fred Jones. He saved this game at this point. As Larry Munson said, he saved our whatchamacallit right there. What is? I was going to say we want to thank Ian Blankenship. Is yes. he up in New York, Mike? Yeah, yeah. So and again, for him to watch, they say um, Ian has said he is really pulling for, for Noah, who's playing the quarterback position that Ian played over the years. Nice pass and complete to 13. Again, bobbled it, Mike, but he held on to it. Rashad King has been everywhere this yes. half. Tim, right now, Blackley still playing that man coverage. And, and Noah has finally apparently got a matchup on the outside with King that he likes. That is becoming his go-to receiver. 341 to go, Trojans trail 35-20, but first and 10 at the Blackley 19. I tell you what, Mike, regardless of what happens, Blackley knows they've been in the ball game. Noah Harrelson back looking, looking. He's going in the end zone, and he had the right idea just a little far for number 17. 
Fred Jones. Yeah. Blackley brought a late blitz there, an extra linebacker. We picked it up nicely, though. And again, Mike, if you take a look at it again, it looks like that the Trojans have really gotten into a rhythm here in the latter part of the third quarter, first part of the fourth here. Again, for those of you just joining us, 35-20, <coughs> Trojans down by two scores. Hopefully we can get a score here in the next minute or so. And let's, let's put a little scare into them and see if we can pull this thing out. Second and 10 at the 19, 337. Noah looking to his left, looking back right. He's coming back to the number 22. Looks like there was some bumping down there. But it looked like it was a little bit of both of them, Mike. So yeah. probably a good no call. Tim, if he had seen it, he actually had uh, Fred Jones in the flat on the left side. But, I mean, I don't, not knowing the, the progression on that play, right. it would be hard to say if, if that was even – you know, come into play. Well, we got a third down here. And again, we want to thank everybody that has been watching tonight and listening. Appreciate your support. And again, you hopefully have enjoyed this game as much as we've enjoyed bringing it to you. All right, a big third down, 331 to go, 35-20 Blackley County. There it is, right up the middle. Noah got about five yards here. I, boy, it opened and closed quick. I thought he had it, Mike. That's going to bring up a fourth down and probably it looks like about five. Mike, what do you think? Where is Where are they going to spot this thing? It looks like it's around the 17, maybe. It's actually inside the 15. Oh, excuse me. You're right up inside the 15. Maybe the 13, the 12, 13. So this is the this is going to be the play of the game at this point. Fourth down, four to go around the 13-yard line. Mike, I need a little oxygen yeah, after all this. 35-20, what a comeback. We we were down 28 nothing and half as Munson said, "We were gone." Exactly. You, you thought we had no chance. We had no chance. Yeah, but, oh, I love it. We've uh, we've we've rallied here and we we've, we've made it cut it to to a two-score game, two touchdown game. And basically, basically, if you think about it, Mike, hopefully we can pull this out, hopefully. But if we don't, what a boost of adrenaline and momentum going into next week to come up off the deck. Yes. And the mistakes that we made, I'm sure the coach knows a whole lot better yeah, than we yeah. do. But I know that there are some correctable things. Mike, I think one of the things I'm impressed with is that apparently, and I know very little about it, but the second half adjustments – I mean, because I thought the way it was going, Blakely was just running all over us. And defense is tightened up. We've only given up seven points this, this half, scored 20 this half. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's been a great comeback. I think we've done just, in some ways, just a better job with with maybe run fits. Right. Uh, getting up in there and uh, getting in those gaps, filling gaps. And, uh, and doing a better job at least containing their running back. Exactly. But it'll come down to this. Now our offense has got to make a play. Fourth down. Trojans trying, as Larry would say, to save themselves. Again, he is going. He's going for the end zone. There's two. Cut, touchdown. Touchdown. 26 to 35. Mike, I didn't catch who caught it, but a beautiful strike. Let's look. Is it number 23? It was 20. Eight is Kimon Number two, Smith. Kimon. There were two receivers in the area. I don't know who he was going to, but who cares? Kimon what makes the play. What a play. All right, Michael, we're going for the one point here. And, hey, now we can honestly say it's anybody's ball game. Let's make this extra point. Tim, I think I would. I, would I, you shoot for the two now or wait? I, would, I think I would get my one here because you're going to have to get two at some point. Then you. But, hey, we hey, just got to get it. Our timeout is called by Blackley. Yeah. Our Trojans have one timeout left in the ball game. Uh, Blackley has two. So, Mike, what an incredible getting off the deck tonight. 35-26. Yeah. If you are just joining us at halftime, we were down 28 to nothing. But Telfair has fought back and cut it to 35-26. to 26 on a 13-yard touchdown pass to Kimon Smith. And, Mike, again, like we say, a lot of this happened right after that unfortunate injury to Jeriel Cone. And, again, hopefully if, if, if Jeriel is, is listening or is getting updates, I know that 
He'd be mighty proud of what these Trojans have done as they've come up off the deck. I'm going to say Ian just gave, it, gave Noah a shout-out, just saying a great read. And, again, you know what? You know, they probably, Ian and, and Noah, over the years, the last two especially, as Ian was the starter and Noah was learning, mm -hmm. they probably developed a really good bond. And so, Ian, thank you, man. That's, that's, a, that's quite a tribute. And I know that Noah would appreciate if we can get to his family tonight. I'm going to let him know that, hey, that you've been, you've been pulling for him. Yeah, tremendous, tremendous. Uh, game by, by Noah Harrelson tonight. And, Mike, yes. again, going back to the Jerry O'Cone again, like we say, the, the good news was he was moving his hands and his legs a little bit, his feet, on that injury. We haven't received an update, but the prayers have been and the thoughts have been overwhelming, and we thank all everyone for, for all that they have done. All right, it'll be two receivers left, two right. Trey Beth. Tim, do they run that little quick toss play to Trey right here? Mike, the way they got them spread, I wonder if you're going for that quarterback draw again. Or could – now we'll fake the jet sweep, it appears. Okay, is there a penalty or a timeout? Mike, since it's that false start, do you think you might as well just go ahead and put a point? Because rather than being a two or three yards, now you're going to be about yeah, eight. Because the thing is, if, if you – if you don't get the two here, you're down nine. It makes it tougher. At least if you get the one, you're within eight. Exactly. Get the onside kick, you still. And, and if you get the two, you're in great shape. And I think well, you, that's what we're looking at. Mike. They've got them spread out. Noah's in an empty backfield. Trojans are set trying to get a two-point conversion. Noah's looking, throws over the middle. The ball's tipped and incomplete. Yeah, just. That time, a great play by Blackley. They well, Mike, even two though guys in the area. Well, Mike, even though we're down 35-26, and I know we're we're two scores down. Hey, we have scored <laughs> 19 points in about the last five to six yeah. minutes against a Blackley County team that is a great ball club. Didn't you say earlier this year they had a big win against? Was it Hawkinsville? Yeah, 42 to six. This is a good. Good football team. And what a test, and I think the Trojans have definitely come up off the deck and answered this tonight. I, I agree, Tim. You know, the season, you know, it's a long season. I know this is week number two, and like we say, they still got three minutes and one timeout. You never know what can happen. But, Mike, I think we're in for some great football this season. What a great preview oh, I, of, this, of the region coming up. Unbelievable. Unbelievable ball game. We're – we feel like we've been in a sauna, but I tell you what, it has been an incredible game. Well, tonight. I could lose, I could, I could stand to lose a pound or two. I tell <laughs> you what, and it has been, it's been hot, but it's been a good facility. We've been able to see everything well, and want to send a shout out to Patty Deep. I don't know how she has run two cameras <laughs> tonight, but she has definitely done a great job. I would give her double the pay, Mike. You got a score about Turner quick, County. Quick score: Turner defeats Taylor County, thirty to nothing tonight. That just shows you our region is tough. All right, On, assuming onside kick here. Yep, they're up, gathered. A little kick right in that area of no man's land. It's, oh. it's loose. Yeah, I would not want to be on the bottom of that pile, Mike. Blackley saying they've got it. Telfair saying they've got it. Let's see who's got it. No signal yet. Boy, this is huge. Here's Blackley. No, a no. Trojan Hold came on. out with the ball. Hold on, they're going to have a discussion. I mean, if we've got the ball, what is it? The possession is nine points of the law or something, so I believe it ought to be ours. Well, they're discussing it. It's a, no, I am almost called it. Let's see. Still no signal. First Telfair. down, Trojans. Wow. Mike. Wow. This sideline just erupted. You get a quick <laughs> score here. Yeah. Who knows? 35-26, Blackley leads it. 2.58 to go. Trojans just recover the onside kick. We were down 28 nothing at halftime. We have made a huge comeback. I mean, more than huge comeback oh here tonight. And against a Blackley County team that's always there with a coach like Coach Lassiter. Yes, yes. What, what an incredible comeback. You know, and again, let's be honest, Mike, the majority of this quarter, the Blakely defense has been on the field. Yes, yes. 
So let's see if we can get a quick strike. The Telfair fans are up on their feet. Fumble in the backfield. Ooh. Noah goes back and gets it. And did Harris knock that out? I know he. I think he did. Trojans are getting slow getting back to the line. The coaching staff is 244. He's begging them. We trail 35 26. We were down 28 0 at the half. We have battled back. We're desperately trying to pull off a miracle here. A miracle, Tim. Again, absolutely, Mike. And it's been an incredible comeback. We're down two minutes, 25 seconds and counting. Taking us a long time to get set up after that fumble. Some precious seconds going. Noah's looking, 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 looking. He finds a receiver just barely. There's a penalty on the play. play. Probably was a pass interference. The Bleckley fans are going crazy mad. We're going crazy happy. It looked like he went possibly over the back, Mike. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it could go either way, but. Yeah, we, we gave it just a minute ago. Yeah, in case you haven't heard it, it's 35 to 26. Right. Trojans down, and it looks like the penalty will be against Bleckley. Two. They're sure backing up, Mike. Yeah, pass interference, 214 to go. We trail 35-26 what has been some kind of a comeback here tonight. It really has. Trojans are down on the Bleckley 30 yard line. Mike, this is fun. <laughs> I have that had a ball. I hope the people at home have enjoyed it as much as we have. All right, Trey Bess in the backfield. Number 28, Kemon Smith in motion. A blitz coming. Bumble ball is on the ground. It's still loose, it's still loose, it's still loose. Trojans number 50, nope, it looks like Bleckley recovered it. Willie Harris. Of all people, he may have saved the night yeah. for him, Mike. I don't, I don't know, Tim, who came off the edge for Bleckley, but one of their pass rushers had a full head of steam and uh, got Noah from behind that time. And again, those things are going to happen, Mike. You know, you put yourself in a 28 to nothing hole, but I'll be honest with you. These Trojans have nothing to be ashamed no, of. No. They, hey, Car Coach Burleson, if he didn't, if, if he only learned one thing tonight, Tim, he learned that his football team has tremendous character. Oh, incredible character! All right, 205 to go. Trojans trail 35-26. I can only imagine that they're going to run, run, run to Pharaoh. Ball's loose. Oh my gosh, Mike, we almost got it. Sorry, I hurt your eardrums Ooh, there. Hey. I wish we could have fell on that. Again, the ball went flying through. I tell you what, that ball was slippery. And Patty wondered why we called it a pigskin the yeah. other day. <laughs> we have one timeout left, so we'd only stop the clock once. But Minute 45 and counting. 35-26, Bleckley leading it. And again, we've got to hold him here, Mike. And then, like we say, pray here for a little bit of a miracle. Again, they're coming up to the line very quickly. They're going to use as much of the play clock as they can. High snap, pass to Pharaoh. And again, the nod didn't wrap him up. So he bounced outside. Number 17 brings him down. And that was Fred Jones came flying out of nowhere to hold him. And that'll be a huge run there. Mike, if nothing else, though, I'd love to keep him out of the end zone yeah, here. 51-yard yeah. yard run by... Uh, was that Pharaoh? Pharaoh, yeah. Pharaoh, Pharaoh. Pharaoh. And again, Mike, there was a couple of missed tackles there. Again, they kind of bounced off. He is a he is a shifty back. Though. He, he's a good ball player, Mike. And Tim, especially three straight games over 100 yards rushing, so you know the, the caliber of running back that he is. Absolutely. Mike, a minute 16 left. It's, it's growing dimmer, but what an incredible ball game. Hand off Farrow again. He's going looking, 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 but he's going to stay in bounds, and he does. He's going to drive that clock down. Going to be down to less than one minute. 35-26, so Bleckley leads it. Uh, it's been an incredible football game, folks. The, the Royals led 28-0 at the half, but the Trojans have fought their way back to a 35-26 margin, but it uh, doesn't look like it's going to be enough, but still, Trojans oh, can hold their head high tonight. Absolutely, and just an incredible. The second half, unless they score here, 
26 to seven Trojans in the second half, 28 to nothing Blakely in the first. Just didn't quite work out. 35 seconds. Looks like they may be in a victory formation, Mike. Yeah, they will take a knee here. Lassiter will. Down to 27 seconds. I don't think we'll use that final timeout, Mike. I don't know. Yeah, looks like that'll be the could be the ball be the last game. Play. Well, Mike, with 15 seconds left, it looks like that again. Unfortunately, the Trojans did lose their first game of the season, non-region game. But when you play a higher classification like this, Mike, hey, we have nothing to be ashamed of tonight. No, no, absolutely nothing. And, you know, it's just uh, we dug ourselves a hole, and it was kind of hard about it. But again, a lot of character showed a lot of character bouncing back. And uh, hey, you know, it's a long season. Oh man, it's a fun season, and again. I tell you what, when it was 28 to nothing, you kind of wondered where the Trojans were going to go here. You also look at Blackley, you know, were they were they getting too cocky or what? But the Trojans in that second half, after they got that first score, it was like a light bulb came on. Yes, yes. And then, Mike, they just really, you know, while we have a couple of minutes before we sign off, again, hang on one second. Who is? Wonderful, the fans. Uh, excellent. Again, yeah, I like, like my Patty was just saying, Mike, again, that the fans that have been doing comments have just glowed about this team and about how well it was done. And also the prayers for Jerry yes, O'Cone yes. to, to come through. What an incredible incredible young man and again like we say our thoughts and prayers are with him tonight mike Whoa. as i get ready to hey, have you you're about to fall as off i'm about edge. i might join him here because again i was about to fall off the edge here mike yeah. that would have been exciting here on live We're, what's that song about the edge of glory but that's not glory that's, that's it that's the edge of injury i was gonna say mike we'll take a couple of minutes to wrap up but before we do your thoughts about adjustments that must have been made coming into the the third quarter. Well, I think one thing looked looked as though we showed some different looks, mixed in some uh, some cover three, uh, even some some little quarters coverage. But some of it was just doing a much better job in our in coming up, stopping the run, uh, get fits. When right. You talk about fits. That means you have certain gaps you're supposed to play. I thought we right. did a lot better job with that, and uh, you know we we tackled much better. And at times, I mean, obviously that last play he he broke it. Right. Uh, but uh, but I thought I thought, thought overall just some little small tweaks here and there exactly. that made a huge difference. And then offensively, uh, we 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 finally got it going in the second half. Absolutely, Mike. I tell you, there's a couple of players, <clears throat> and of course they all deserve kudos. Great job, team effort, everything goes. If there were any question marks about the character of this team, which I don't think there was, no, but if no. there ever was, boy, they were answered tonight because this team played a wonderful, wonderful ball game, and they came up off the deck, Mike, and did an incredible job. And I tell you, I think we found some playmakers tonight in addition to Trey Best. Kemon Smith had a uh, big, big game tonight. He did. Rashad uh, King, uh, we heard his name, Fred Jones. Cameo Blankenship, of course, yes. put in his his regular great, great job of tackling and running and just did a beautiful job. Uh, Mike, I do want to send kudos out to that freshman kicker, <clears throat> McCray Ball. If you noticed on these onside kicks or on these little pooches, he directed it to empty areas. It wasn't the traditional, you know, to bang it into the ground. I mean, so as a freshman, he has a nice future, it looks like, oh. in the kicking position here. No, no doubt about it, Tim. I totally agree agree with you there. Uh, why don't you want you want a scoring recap? Real if quick? you would, Mike, we'll do a scoring recap, and then probably, you know, we'll probably have to get on out of here because yeah. I know you've got a long trip. You're making the pilgrimage to Athens tomorrow. Yeah, I'm making a trip to Fort Valley tonight. There so. you go. So absolutely. Right. So real quick, uh, let's recap the scoring and this uh, scoring recap. Brought to you by Deep Productions. That'll work. Nakeem uh, Farrow started it off for Blackley with a two-yard touchdown run. 
uh, to put them up 6 nothing. Extra point good, making it 7 nothing. Uh, then uh, Lassiter, the quarterback, Zach Lassiter, with a 20-yard touchdown pass to uh, Bryce Bailey. Uh, that made it 13 nothing with the extra point, uh, 14 nothing. Then Farrah. <laughs> Talking that trash all week. It's time to put up a show. And when the lights come on, you can't hide. We about to see what you made of. And when the contact comes, don't you dare tuck and run the other way. And when the whistle blows, you're gonna hear the whole crowd say, Show me what you got. 